Hey guys, Coach Dennis here with James Gerritsen of Tiger King. <laughs> um, so this is our th- <laughs> this is our third episode, and and uh, James our special guest today. I'm so happy that he's here. Um, and so, um, I mean, what do you want to talk about, James? Man, let's catch up in the whole MMA world, man, and all this fight, the fight game. Yeah, yeah, man. Let's talk about Jake Paul. Yeah. What's your predictions on him? Jake Paul. I mean. I think he's doing a good job. Him and his brother uh, are doing a great job of promoting themselves and things like that. I mean, they're both athletes, and they're 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 picking smart fights. They're picking good fights um, to give themselves the best opportunity to win. And so I can't knock them for that. Uh, and they're they're great promoters. They piss a lot of people off, which I love it. Which gets a lot of people wanting to see them fight. So they're very very good promoters. They're yeah. smart guys. They're athletic. They're always in the gym. Um, you know, they, I mean, a lot of, they get a lot of hate, but these guys are, are for real. I mean, they're not the greatest fighters or anything like that, but they're picking smart fights, um, to, to just catapult their careers and, to, and, to, and they're making a shit ton of money. Yeah, man. They're, they're smart, man. They're real smart, but I think Jake Paul is going to smoke Tommy Fury in round one. You think so? 100%. Yeah. yeah I pr- I'll pretty much make a bet. I'll sleep with Carol Baskin if it, uh. <laughs> If it doesn't happen. So what's the deal no, with, with Carol Baskin? Um, I heard that they found her husband alive. No, that was some fabricated letter. Everybody knew about it. That fool's dead. He's buried. He's, you know, he's, he's done. He's not, he's not alive. So I don't know anything about the letter or anything like that. I just heard about it from somebody who told me today that they, she heard that Carol Baskins was alive. Yeah. And so what's the deal? So like, this letter came out in Tiger King 2. It basically said that. A, a confidential informant spotted Don alive in Costa Rica back in like 2000 or whatever. But Don never left the country. That fool, he was chopped up. I know what happened to him, but you know, Carol has a uh, crooked sheriff and stuff protecting her. So until that sheriff's out of office, nothing's going to happen to her. But we're still fighting every day to put her away. So I'm not a Carol Baskin fan by any means. You know, she took all her husband's money and basically, you know. So, so walk me through like how you met Carol, um, how you met, you know, uh, Joe Exotic, you know, how you got, how you even got into the, 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 that world of like exotic crazies. Yeah. Well, just exotic animals. Yeah. I worked in the, uh, circus industry when I was younger. Um, did that for a little while, had my own tigers where I traveled the country. Back in 2005, Carol started fucking with me with all of her crazy idiots because she thinks that bashing others gets her more money, which it does. You know, you got to think, um, negative publicity is still good publicity because it brings in money. Mm -hmm. So she basically harassed me in 2005 to like 2008. I finally got out of the business and, uh... You know, I met Joe back in, I think, 2000. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I lived in Dallas, and Joe lived in Oklahoma, so I went up there and did some dealings with him, so that's how I knew him. But back then, he wasn't as crazy as he was until, I think Carol turned him crazy when she started suing that idiot and stuff. So why did she sue him? Uh, she just wanted to close his park down, so she sued him over this rabbit photo that he posted up, and she went... After he posted it, she went and copyrighted it and sued him for trademark infringement. And a rabbit a joke. photo? Yeah, it was a... Carol Baskin feeds live rabbits to these bobcats that she rehomes. And Joe posted a picture of all these bloody rabbits. Carol got all bent out of shape. And then um, she sued him. You know, Carol has a lot of money, but she stole it all from her husband. Hmm. So she has millions and millions of dollars and has made millions every year for years. 20 years mm-hmm. so she sued joe joe didn't have the money to fight it got a judgment and then she started stalking that fool that's when he was trying to hire hitmen you know people to kill carol to avoid the problem and that's how he ended up in jail so how did you and joe have a falling out no uh, we didn't really have a falling out it's just you know he was saying some things and there was already people reporting back to him And the feds, you know, he was asking everybody that walked up, hey, will you go kill this bitch in Tampa for me? You know, and it was already reported to the feds, so they knew. 
and then he sold me a illegal lemur. So the government was like, hey, you know, you, you know, he was doing nasty shit to tigers. He was shooting them and stuff. He was doing some evil stuff to tigers. I didn't agree with. So, you know, I helped the feds, and I wish I wouldn't have, but I did. And uh, you know, he's still trying to get out. Maybe he'll get out. Who knows? Where's he at now? Do he's you know? in Fort Worth. Right? Oh, he's in Fort Worth. Worth. Yeah, the county or? Uh, no, he's in federal federal medical center over off the twenty. Oh wow. Yeah, I did a TikTok video live from there a couple days ago. So it's like a federal medical prison or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he sick? I don't know, man. He had like a mild case of cancer, and you know he has the anal problems from all his <laughs> years of boyfriends. You know. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. Him and his, all of his boy toys. He has a new boy toy now that's all over Tinder chasing down girls. He's not really gay, but Joe sends him money and pays his bills every month. So. Mm. Oh, the guy's not gay. The guy's basically catfishing his ass. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild world, but we're going to do a Tiger King 4 probably pretty soon because the story's still unfolding and Carol's still doing stupid shit. Joe's still doing stupid shit from prison, and yeah, there's more to come. Wow. So, I mean, ha has your life changed since the Tiger King show? Um, no, my life hasn't changed. I still do the same thing. Uh, I still run around on a jet ski and drink beer and... Eh, nothing's really changed. I mean, my bank account didn't get any thicker. No. So, uh, yeah. Netflix no. did. I mean, that was like the biggest show. Yeah, they made a whole Netflix lot of money off of exploiting like us people. You know, they made a whole lot of money. But, you know, hopefully if we do another one, they'll cough up the dough, you know? Yeah. So, but no, everything's good. Everything's good. Good. Um, yeah. So, how does that work? I mean, they Netflix made hundreds of millions of dollars off of you guys doing this reality show and I guess you well it was a really a documentary so a documentary. we really weren't supposed to be paid mm. you know because you're not supposed to pay for documentaries or you know content whatever but mm -hmm. we got paid for location fees and I had to go after him with a lawyer to get a settlement you know we have a crooked director and all this other he's a real scumbag too mm. um, a real rich man but you know most of those rich people are scumbags so, um, besides the, so you do the jet ski, what else are you working on? Man, I'm doing a, I do silly the jet skis and water sports business down in the Florida Keys, and mm -hmm. I'm doing a management company now, supporting girls for OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. I don't take on any guys, so don't hit me up for that, because I'm not going to peddle your shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, so I'm doing like a management company, helping them build their social medias and things like that, and uh, it's working out pretty well. You know, and just doing some little different projects here and there. So are you going to get back into exotic animals and maybe have like an exotic oh, uh, zoo? Or I do have land sanctuary? up in Oklahoma and I'm thinking about doing something on the border. Maybe the Windstar border by the Windstar Casino somewhere up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of contemplating it. But I don't know if I want Carol to be harassing me out the rest of my life. So why is why are you and Carol having so much bees, man? Well, Carol, she doesn't want anybody else to own exotic animals because she wants to be like the... She calls herself the Mother Teresa of cats. She wants to be the only one that makes money off of cats. Mm -hmm. And she wants everybody else out of business. Mm -hmm. So her and her little animal rights cronies can, you know, can benefit off of it. None of us can. So mm -hmm. she does the same thing everybody else does. She has animals in cages. She's a roadside zoo. But I don't know, man. She's she's a hypocrite. You got to look into her, man. She's, she's a total And so hypocrite. why don't people understand that she's a hypocrite? I mean, why does she get so much... Well, she she has a lot of... she She's a, like a cult leader, kind of like Joe. They brainwash mm -hmm. people into thinking they're the greatest. Mm -hmm. And her place is a shithole. I've been to it a couple times. It's a real shithole. Rusty shit everywhere. You know, it takes in four or five million dollars a year and the animals live in total shit. And um, she pays off the feds and stuff. She pays off officials. So you know, she's a crooked bitch. So did and you... Carol, I don't care if you sue me. Go for it. <laughs> Hi, Carol, if you're watching. Yeah, don't sue him. Sue me, bitch. <laughs> yeah, sue him. Leave me out of this, Carol. Yeah, I'm not scared of your bullshit. Yeah, yeah, leave me out of this, Carol. But um, So did you have a, a exotic uh, zoo before? Or yeah, before? yeah, I've had animals for years. Uh, right after the Joe stuff, I retired my tigers to a place. And uh, they're kind of like Carol. You know, once... They beg you for the animals, and then when you give them to them, 
you're on these websites, they're calling you all kinds of shit, you're trying to raise money off your name, and, you know, the animal industry of a whole is pretty shitty because all these animal rights, mm -hmm. self-proclaimed animal rights kooks, mm -hmm. you know, so... Yeah, so I might get back into it. Who so knows? does PETA mess with you guys? Or? Oh, yeah, they do. They're a bunch of stupid asses. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're not very happy with James Garrison, but fuck them. Yeah. So what's PETA's complaint? Well, PETA's complaint is it's not cool for us to have them in a, in a nice cage or nice areas, but it's okay for Carol. They're hypocrites, too. But why does... Oh, because... Why, yeah, do, why does PETA like Carol? Okay, because she tries to pass laws, she tries to lobby, and she got this Big Cat Safety Act passed on uh, to stop private ownership of big cats. I mean, you can be a corporation or whatever, but she just got that passed due to the Tiger King directors helping her, and she just got that law passed. She kisses ass to all these senators, and you know how political people are. They're all mm -hmm. for the fucking take. Nobody cares about our country as a whole. Mm -hmm. These people just want money, money, money. Look at that scumbag Pelosi and all her bullshit she does. You know, it's... it's The, the country's fucked, man. Sad to say. America's not America anymore. So, are you going to be voting for Biden? Fuck no. Trump all the way, man. <laughs> Trump all the way. Trump's so got this. So, you think Trump's going gonna, Trump's gonna to run again? Fuck think? yeah. yeah he's Trump, Trump will get elected. I mean, Biden's like a shell of a person. He can't even walk. He can't even talk. I mean, who the fuck needs that idiot? Yeah, I'm 100% I'm for Trump. You know, Trump has his flaws, but he's not a politician, and that's what we need. We don't need politicians. And Trump doesn't need the money. You know? Biden and them just go in there, and they just scam and steal. So what do you like about Trump? He's straight up. I think he's straight up. And he's a businessman. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we're giving us all this money to fucking Ukraine. It's like, when we have homeless people here, mm -hmm. you go down some places in downtown Fort Worth, man, it's all, like, people living in tents and shit. Mm -hmm. Help our people before we help others. You know, we and we're already broke. Our country's already fucking broke. What were we, like, 15 trillion in debt or some fucking crazy Yeah, debt? and they just keep printing more money. So how, do, how, does, how, how do we get out of debt like that? I don't I mean, you have to get a businessman in there. I don't even know if Trump can fix the country. It's so fucked up. And then you got Democrats and Republicans fighting, and all of them so, fucking suck, so in my opinion. Do you think they could get along, or you think there's always going to be this there's always gonna be a blue and red, and East Trump, Coast, West Coast? Everybody's going to get Trump in there and say he's racist. I don't know where they're figuring out he's racist. That's what I can't figure out. Mm -hmm. Because when you ask somebody, hey, do you like Trump? Oh, no, he's a racist. Mm -hmm. Show me how he's racist. Mm -hmm. And nobody can pro pro What do you think about him? the in insurrection at the Capitol? I think that was bullshit. I think that was a Democratic move. I mean, I, I, I don't put anything past some fucking Democrats. <laughs> I mean, he did I hate to say that, but, you know, I don't have, I don't know, man. I want Trump and I want Candace Owens to be the vice president. That's my pick. So what do you like about Candace? She's hardcore and she doesn't, she's not filtered. She's kind of like Trump, not filtered. And she's smart and she knows what's going on. That's what I, that's what I like about her. You know, but is Candace racist? No, nah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't think so. She likes white people. She's married to one. I yeah. mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think Candace is a, a brilliant woman. Yeah. And. Is she running? No, I want her to run. Oh, That's you my want her to run. ideal pick. And I wanted Jim Jordan as a speaker of the house, but. Do you think she has a chance if she, if she runs? Oh, hell yeah. Candace, you may want to consider running. You're going to be backed right here by James Garrett. A criminal. I will back you. <laughs> no. But yeah, no, the politics are all fucked up, man. I'm, I'm getting, like, discouraged, and I don't even really want to watch this shit anymore. It's so... Just, you mean watching politics is... All the infighting and bickering and stuff. Do you think they should bring back, like, you know, uh, duels? Like, where they where they say, hey, you know what, I challenge you. Fuck, and yeah. Go out with a fucking gun and... Just think about them. this place. If it was the Wild West, nobody would talk shit. Mm. All you had to do is reach for your gun, you know, and, and settle your beef. I saw Hamilton recently, and that's I guess that's how he got shot. They yeah, people a duel and people they have no him. backbones these days, you mm -hmm. know. They get on social media and talk shit, but there's not fist fighting anymore. They should know? bring back that. I would love to have duels between, you know, if we can get like Biden versus Trump in a fist fight. Oh, fucking Trump would <laughs> smoke. Smoke that old fool. 
Yeah, no, Trump. Would you would you buy the pay per view for oh, that? Oh hell yeah, Trump. Would you would you, would you show up in person? Would oh, you yeah. watch live? I guarantee Trump can throw hands. You think you would get past the first round? Guarantee Trump would throw hands. You know Biden, he he, he I mean he can't even like. Would it get past the first round? He can't you even ride a fucking bicycle. What 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 round do you think the fight would end? Oh Trump, second hit. Second hit, it's like two punches. And Trump's like seventy something years old too. And Trump was he's still in good shape. I mean, are they even the same weight class? Uh, Trump's a big dude. What is it? Yeah, but they should go back old school, like the old UFC days. There's no weight class. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd love that. Yeah. I mean, that, that was what the UFC was fun. You had the big fucking sumo wrestlers <laughs> fighting a little. Remember Keith Hackney fucking hitting that um, Emmanuel Yarborough or whatever his name yeah, was. Yeah, that was a just great... fucking that dude up. I mean, that was a big dude. That dude was like 600 pounds. Yeah, UFC's changed so much over the years. Yeah. And you said the, the good old days. I mean, what do you miss about the, the, the old UFC uh, for back in the day to the to the new UFC? I like the old pride, the soccer kicks and shit. Yeah? I mean, the UFC is still cool. And I love watching it. Dana White's a, he's a, he's a beast, you know. Mm. Of a businessman? Yeah, he's a beast. Or a beast of a fighter. I mean, I mean you see him and his wife... He, throw down? He's at the king of slap. He got that backhand down. He knocked the shit out of I her. think it was reflexes, man. Yeah? Like, I don't really condone hitting women. I mean, I know some women probably fucking need it. <laughs> but, damn, man. But it was reaction. <laughs> because, like, if somebody hits you, your reaction is to hit them right back. Maybe his mind didn't catch it. Oh, my God. But, <laughs> but he followed up. Did you watch the full? If you watch the full video, yeah, he, like, see the full hits video, her, man. pushes her down, and follows up with, like, more. Like, he's he's. But coming listen, after just him. because Dana's a, a public person, man, mm -hmm. he, everybody makes fucking mistakes, you yeah. know? People get in fights, you know? Women get fucking crazy, man. I'm not yeah. gonna, you know... Women pull guns and shit, so you got to be careful. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Women are fucking crazy. <laughs> you know, switch blades and women are fucking violent. Yeah, I mean guys are too. I mean they both are. I mean she hit him first. You know. Um, I mean I've been hit with stilettos. I ran strip bars for fucking years, man. Mm -hmm. I've had everything thrown at me, bottles, you name it. You mm -hmm. know, strippers, fucking crazy too. You know, but and then. My kid's mom's a Puerto Rican, so she's, you know, you know how Puerto Rican are. They're crazy. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, um, yeah, so, so, did your kid's mom ever hit you? Oh, yeah, many times. Yeah? Yeah. You never, you never went Dana White on her? Shit. Maybe a time or two. <laughs> no, no. no, she'd probably stab me in my sleep or something. She's crazy. Yeah. Hope she's not watching this fucking podcast. Yeah, yeah. I she might go up on my child support. Oh no! <laughs> so how many kids do you have? I have two. Two that you that claim I, or that you know that of? That I know of. That you know. Yeah. So now, what are you doing to not have any more kids? Do you just uh, are you sponsored by by Magnum condoms now, or are you? Did you get the vasectomy? Or are you just no. the women on the pill? Or Man, I don't know. the Plan B? Well, I heard they don't get pregnant if they swallow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't oh know. No, gosh, I'm just very careful, man. If I had another kid at my age, I think I would like. I don't know. Probably hang myself or something. <laughs> Fuck, man! Going through you all that it. drama. Yeah. Yeah. How, how old are you now? Shit, I'm like 49. 49. Wow. I mean, and hey, before y'all make any fat comments, this is my second week at the gym. Nice. So I'm actually losing some fucking weight. And then I'm going to come here and punch on bags. And I didn't even recognize this guy. He's lost so much weight. He came into the door. It's hard, though, man. It's you're fucking great, hard. Man. You're doing good. Just keep it up. Yeah, it's hard. The diet's hard and the, not drinking a soda, man. When you go from, like, drinking sodas for 20 fucking years, I guess it's probably, like, heroin, Coca-Cola. Right. I mean, that shit is hard to get off of. But I'm down to, like, one soda a day and drinking a lot of water. I haven't drank water in years. I, would, I thought beer hydrated you. I guess it didn't. But, yeah, so... Man, the workout's hard, but... Yeah, what type of workout are you doing? Man, I'm just starting slow, man. Since I haven't worked out in like 20 years, I'm doing a little... I'm getting on the elliptical for a little while, doing a little bit of treadmill. I'm taking it real slow to start out because uh, I had some health scares over the last few years of the neglect of my body, so... Getting all that sorted out, so everything's good, but, man, waking up and going to the gym is fucking hard to start, you know, to get, get on a program, but... Yeah, everything's going good. So I'll be back down to like 205, maybe in six months or seven months. Yeah, we had one of our fighters, uh, 
at Street Jitsu Roanoke, a Roanoke location. We had one of our guys. He normally walked around at, at 240, but he, he fought this past weekend. He cut down to 185 in two months. Damn. In two months, 55 pounds, man. Damn. Yeah, Jason Klein. That that's dieting, impressive. The man. dieting's real hard. And man. he's our age. I mean, he's, he's older Damn. like us, so he's, you know, he's in his... You know, forties and yeah, yeah, it's harder when you get old, man. It's 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 hell. You know, when you neglect your body for so long, but you know, now drinking a lot of water and stuff, it's been a lot better. So, yeah, everything's going good. You know, watching some fights. I'm ready for Jake Paul to smoke that fool. I'm gonna yeah. put some money on that one. What, what, <clears throat> so, what did you think of the fights this past weekend? With uh, did you watch those? Uh, no, I didn't watch it. Um, who was Glover that Teixeira? Oh man, Glover. And, yeah, I heard he got beat. And, yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah, that was a good fight. Glover was a beast, and and then the you know the 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 uh, what is it, the bantamweight champion? I'm ready for that John Jones fight. Yeah, you know I want to see if he's the same John Jones or, you know, I wanted Francis to stay. I wanted to see Jones and Francis, but man, that sucks. So you're able to keep up with all the new fighters? Yeah, I try. You know, I try. You know, I don't do it as much as I used to, but because there's so many fights now. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Bellator, and then you got all these other organizations, you know. But I still try to follow it and uh, try to attend fights. I, I like bare knuckle, too. Yeah. I've been to a bunch of bare knuckle in person. I've never even seen it. Fucking I've seen, brutal, like, highlights man. of bare knuckle, but I've never seen a full... It's fucking brutal. Yeah. I mean, just hearing, like, I've sat ringside at several of the fights. <sighs> yeah. And just hearing the fucking skulls crack and shit. God, dang. Yeah, it's brutal. That's vicious. Yeah, somebody's going to get real fucked up. Well, I think somebody already did, but didn't somebody die bare knuckle? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't like this slapping shit. I mean, <laughs> the slap? The I mean. Dana White slap. <laughs> he started that promotion. Did the he? slap fighting. Yeah, he has that new slap fighting, which is hilarious because he started that promotion, the slap fighting promotion, <laughs> promoting it all over the place. And then him and his wife get into a slap fight. Damn. You know? You got to, I mean, you got to give credit. I mean, MMA wouldn't be where it is today if it wasn't for Dana. Dana oh, yeah. Dana's a hustler. And mm -hmm. who cares? You know, he has problems. Everybody has problems. But them trying to get rid of him because he slapped his girl, I mean. They've been together for a long time, too. I think over 20 years. I didn't even know he was married. Mar yeah, they've been together over 20 years. I think like 26 years, man. Do you think he's really banging all the ring girls? That he's accused of. I didn't even know about that. I wonder if he what's did he, what's, what's, what's going on with that. Stuff. Well, no, there's this. I, I I saw a TikTok video of Dana White's mom here recently, and she's talking about him sleeping with the ring girl. Oh, his mom is saying that. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, his mom, Miss White or whatever, but she's on. A t I saw it on a TikTok video mm -hmm. talking about how much he's changed because he got famous, mm -hmm. and that happens, you know, because he's a he's a well known guy. You yeah. Know, he's famous as hell, but. Maybe that's why his wife hit him. You know, if he if he's banging ring girls, I mean, maybe she stopped. Maybe him. you know Ariana texted him and she saw it or whatever. Is his wife banging fighters? I mean, we don't know. Oh, his wife didn't look bad. I got to see a better close up to her, but yeah, she didn't look bad. Marriage is not but easy, man. She's gonna take his ass to the bank if she ever decides to leave. Yeah, she'll get half of uh, UFC. Oh, yeah, Dana's loaded. Yeah, loaded. Half of the UFC, half yeah. of his jets, half of his cars. Oh. Cheaper to keep her. Yeah, that's the sad thing is sometimes it is cheaper to keep them, but you know then you got to deal with all their bullshit all the time. Yeah, you know, where are you at? Text every ten minutes. <laughs> you know how fucking shitty that is. <laughs> where are you at? Who are you fucking? <laughs> you know. So he's rather just just be the. So uh, what do you think, Andrew Tate? Is he guilty or not guilty? Oh shit, Andrew Tate. Yeah, we're switching gear. Andrew Tate, man. I don't know a lot about that guy. I just recently heard about him. Um, I don't know too much about him. Reason he um, was I, he was trying to get Joe out, mm -hmm. so he put up this two million dollars to whoever gets the tire. Joe team Exotic, out. yeah, yeah. You watch the TikTok videos, so it was crazy. I was like, now watch this fool's gonna have a controversy because Joe is in there, and then Andrew Tate gets arrested, and Joe's in there claiming that everybody else is sex trafficking women, and then his mentor. Andrew Tay gets arrested, so I don't know if that's real or not. I mean, we're, women will make crazy accusations for money, right? So, and I don't know, I, I don't know the judicial judicial system in Romania where he got arrested, yeah. but I do know that Andrew Tate, you know, he was born in the United States and he moved over to England yeah. and he became a kickboxer, and then he, I guess he's got houses in Romania. But the thing I don't like about you know public opinion and all this stuff, I mean, they have not produced 
one shred of evidence. Exactly. Not one shred of evidence, and people are already condemning him. I mean, I know he got yeah. in an argument with Greta Thornburg, and people are saying, like, Yeah, oh, she's a fucking stupid ass anyway, you know, climate change, fucking kook. Yeah, she's just a shit starter. She's like one of those PETA fucking idiots. But the thing about Andrew Tate, I don't, I don't think he's guilty of it. But but the thing is, is is it, isn't people aren't people supposed to be innocent until proven guilty? That's what gets me. Yeah, is it's it's the other way around. It's but, always guilty until you proven innocent. Well, listen, if you're innocent until proven guilty, why do they arrest you? Yeah. Why do they put you in handcuffs? Well, I think Wouldn't they, they have the trial first, prove you're guilty, and then arrest you. Right. You know, but. You're, I think in America, you're guilty until proven innocent. Right. And it's not supposed to be that way. They preach innocent until proven guilty is what they preach. When That's what yeah. we learned in school. Yeah. Is your is your innocent until proven guilty, but you and I both know that's all bullshit. Yeah. Okay. In America, if you get accused of anything, you're guilty until you prove your innocence, which is fucked up. Yeah. And here's the deal. If you get, a, you get charged with a DWI today, all right, and you're not drunk, but they charge you with it, and you found you're not guilty. Nobody gives you the money back for all the attorneys, the time you spent in jail. That's true. You know, it's our system's totally fucking broken, I think, in just my opinion. Not that it means anything, but yeah, I mean, it's. I don't think Andrew Tate's probably. I don't think he's guilty. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's probably shady, but I mean, everybody's shady. Oh, man, did I. I I, I do know Bugattis are the ugliest fucking car that ever existed. But you don't like Bugattis? Why not? Yeah, those things are ugly. Yeah. And that color of his Bugatti. Ooh. I haven't seen his cars. Yeah, he has like, I think he had like 28 or 30 cars. And I heard that they already taken his cars and repoing his shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, went in his house, you know, taking all this stuff, assets. That's what I don't understand. I mean, because I don't know anything about Romania. Yeah. So I guess they can just do whatever there. And they haven't even convicted him. Or they haven't even charged him. They haven't them. even charged him, but there's no trial. So it's like... Yeah. So, I don't know. It, I, it almost seems like it's a money grab. He, from the, he, he's so big, though. He has enough following, though. He could have people committing riots and shit. You know, because he has a lot of following. I mean, why do you think he has that big of a following? What do you think that came from? Because he's direct. And people... People... Everybody now sugarcoats things. Mm -hmm. He's straight direct. Mm -hmm. He's... Think, you know, he, he has some great points. Mm -hmm. And some of the shit he goes off kind of far left, but... I mean, he's he's a smart dude, mm -hmm. but he knows the social media game, and he dominated it. I right. mean, I never even heard of that dude, even in the kickboxing circuit, and he just pops up, and he's like a viral sensation. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I haven't, because I don't know if he has his own, and he got kicked off of everything. I've kicked off of the mm -hmm. fucking internet, basically. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't find him. As, when I did hear about him, I'm like, oh, who's this guy everybody's talking about? And, it, and people were asking me about it. I said, well, let me do some research on him yeah. before I form an opinion. Yeah. And so I started looking. I'm like, this guy doesn't have a fucking website. He doesn't have a YouTube mm. channel. He doesn't have a tick. He has nothing. It's all it is is people interviewing him. And then they take clips and they try to fucking make whatever out of those clips. Yeah. And try to make him look bad um, to get clout for their sites. Yeah. But I don't really see anything. You know, he doesn't really have a platform that I've seen where he's like, this is me. Yeah. This is what I want to say. This is how you guys get to know me. It's just like, you know, they're taking sound bites and you can make a sound bite sound like anything you want. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're getting really crazy with these sound bites. I've seen some they do with Trump or Biden or whoever. Mm -hmm. And it's like, did they say that? Elon it's like, Musk it's all... started that. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. That uh, how would it? I forgot what he calls it, but yeah, he started that. But I really did want to see the Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate. Mm. I mean, I wanted to see that fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think, I mean, Jake Paul's a fucking stud. Mm -hmm. You can't discredit that guy no, and say stud, yeah. he can't box or he can't fight. I mean, they've been training since they were little kids. I mean, they've been actively training, yeah. you know, boxing and wrestling and things like that. These guys didn't just start training. That's what people don't understand. And think, they're in phenomenal I, shape. I don't think Logan can box mm -hmm. very well. I mean, because. Look, he was giving Floyd, little old Floyd, all he had at the end, and he couldn't get Floyd. But, but Floyd's the greatest of all greatest time. Greatest of all time. You know, at, the, at his weight class, you know, um, and as a lot of people don't believe he's the greatest, but he's one of the best, I mean, especially defensively. Yeah. I mean, this guy maybe has been hit three or four times in his life. Yeah. I mean, he's so good defensively, you can't ever hit him clean. Yeah. So for him not to knock out Floyd, I don't discredit him because it's like well how are you going to knock out the greatest even if he's not in his prime how about the fight um tyson versus uh francis 
Oh, yeah. Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou. That would be a great fight. I just don't think anybody can hit Tyson. I mean, Tyson has... He moves so well. Fuck, to be a big dude like that. <clears throat> but if Francis lands something, I mean, he's going to fuck him up. That dude hits like a Volkswagen. Yeah. I mean, have you heard about that fight happening? Or Yeah, I heard that it's kind of in the works. Mm. And then, you know, they trying to get Francis to bare knuckles. I mean, if that dude hits you with bare knuckles, I mean, he'd probably kill you or knock your head off. Yeah, he's a fucking monster. That dude just scary. Both of them are, even Tyson. Yeah, Tyson's a beast, man. He's so good, I and mean, he's undefeated. I mean, when he did that know? to Wilder three times, I mean... Yeah, he's got the draw with Wilder, and he's got two wins over Wilder. Um, yeah, two or three wins on Wilder, two? Two. Mm -hmm. he get, the first one was a draw, and then he beat him twice. Oh, okay. Uh, I know one of the times uh, Wilder uh, said his walkout suit was too heavy. So... Um, Something like that. The while he lost, he had a lot of excuses. Maybe Tyson's had something in his gloves, or, or did something to his gloves. Yeah. There's a lot of excuses. I hate when they make a lot of excuses, though. You know, if you fucking lost, you lost. You got your ass yeah. beat. Do it again. You know. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm curious to see that John Jones. You know, if he's the same John John Jones at heavyweight, that's gonna be a good fight. Yeah, Jones hasn't fought in forever. I think it's been like five. And years. And I want to see. Uh, uh, Islam versus uh, Volkanovski. That's going to be a great fight. That's going to be a good That's fight. That's going to be a sick I think Volkanovski fight. wins that one. Yeah? That can't count, a, you can't count that guy out. That huh? dude's a beast. He's man. a machine. And then Triple C will probably try to come back and fight Volkanovski. Yeah. Triple C's been making some waves, saying he's, he's, he wants to come back. Yeah, I went to a couple of the uh, fights, uh, Khabib's organization down in Miami. and mm. uh, Henry Cejudo, Hen Triple C. Henry was the ring dude. The commentator, ringside commentator. Mm -hmm. Him and uh, what's the champion, uh, well, the ex champion, um, Dillashaw, or no, fuck. um, the African guy, um, uh, that just lost. Shit, I can't even think. Oh, of uh, 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 Snowbender. No, 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 no? Uh, the other one, the no, 170. Sorry. 170. Oh, uh, uh, Kamaru Usman. Yeah, Kamaru Usman. Yeah. Kamaru Usman, Brain yeah. fart. Yeah. We need a young Jamie. I need a young Jamie. Guys, if you're watching this, you want to be a young Jamie. Like, Joe Rogan's got young Jamie. He's the guy that in, in, you know, on the Joe Rogan show. That looks and, up the shit. That Googles everything and you fact checks things and researches things. And I need somebody like that. So, if you, if, you know, I need an intern for that. So, if you're interested, hit me up. Uh, you know, uh, subscribe, hit me up message i'll be in contact with you and uh we can we can have you in here googling shit looking shit up because you know james and i are getting old and we can't fucking remember things yeah like the old to. brain doesn't work out very well yeah like it used to getting hit in the head and you know drinking some you know <sighs> back in the day yeah last night i had a pretty rough night man tequila man tequila i can't do that shit anymore no Whew. are you retiring tequila yeah i'm getting off the the heavy stuff that stuff will get you know i don't know is that, your drink of, is that your drink of choice? No, nah, man, I usually do these uh, orange teas, the Jameson orange teas. What is that? It's Jameson orange and some other shit, but they're pretty good. But last night we did to Patron, and man, I was hurting today. How many did you do? They kept, people just kept feeding them to me. I think it's, I think it's the amount, you know what I mean? Because I had, I'll drink, every, you know, every once in a while, and... My drink of choice is Hennessy Neat, but I'll usually have maybe one or two. That max, yeah. you know, and I, I'll i drink one, like every, you know, one, and then wait an hour and drink another. Yeah, yeah. You know, so maybe you have two of them. Yeah, I've been irresponsible pace. drinking. Yeah, I think that's what hurts people. I yeah. think if you can, <clears throat> you know, pace yourself, you know, in my opinion, I think you'll be all right. Yeah, like beer is no problem, man, but, you know, you're working out and then beer is not helping you. Yeah. So. Well, I've seen a lot of people drinking those uh, Michelob Ultras. Yeah, that's what I was drinking last night. Michael yeah. Ultras, yeah. I don't know how well they help you, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Who says that all the time? Oh, that's, uh, that's, um, the, the Hawaiian fighter, uh, Max Holloway. He's always saying Oh, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a, a beast, too, man. I love watching him fight. Yeah, he's, a, unfortunately, though, we all get older and he's on the decline. You yeah. know, I don't know how many more years he's got Our, left. Tony Ferguson, I think he's uh, probably at the end, too. Yeah, he's trying to. I see him talking shit all over. Del uh, Shaw just retired. Oh, did he really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, he just retired. Had sh shoulder went out the last time he fought for the title. Mm -hmm. And so he's out. 
So yeah, man, everybody's getting old. It has yeah, to uh, Shogun retired. Yep, Shogun. <clears throat> you know what? Speaking of Shogun, speaking of Pride, you had brought up Pride earlier. The yellow card, man. Mm. I, I think if they brought the yellow card into the UFC, you know, I think that would, that would change the game because what people don't know is is if you didn't watch Pride back in the day, Pride FC, uh, it was an MMA promotion. Yep. Just like UFC, but they would bring out a yellow card. So if they pull out that yellow card on you, um, that's a warning. Hmm. And you know, and I believe actually the yellow card. I could be wrong, but I believe the yellow card. If they pull it out, you, you're both fighters are docked. I want to say ten percent of their purse. Really? So, yeah. So so you're losing money. Damn. You know. So you're docked, and then I think if they bring out a red card, you're both disqualified because it's a yellow card. And then they can do another yellow card. Damn. 10%. So now you got 20%. So you're going to get in your pocket. You're getting in your pocket because they want both guys to put on a performance, yeah, both guys man. to put on a fight. I used to know. love watching Vanderlei. Yeah? Just go in there and wreck fools. fucking fools. wrecking people. I don't know if Vanderlei ever got a yellow card. I'd, if he did, I'd be, I'd be surprised. Man, that, that guy's guy, got punched in the head. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah. These old school fighters, man, they had so much heart. Yeah. And they would just go I in. just don't really like the wrestling. I like a lot of... I like the, the strikers. Striker. Yeah, I don't really like the wrestlers or... The GSP style. I just, I was never about that. I want to see people get fucked up. I think the yellow card would be good because if anybody's stalling or stagnant, um, yeah, you know, they penalize them. Yeah, you know, just like in any other, you know, um, combat sport. You know, I, I, they have, uh, you know, they can disqualify you. Like in jujitsu, if one guy's uh, not fighting or both guys are not fighting, they can take, they can give you a penalty or they can disqualify you. And I, I wish they would do that in MMA. You know, give them a penalty. Uh, you know, hit their purse. The biggest thing I think they should do is if you miss weight in MMA or you get caught, yeah. especially missing weight, um, or you get caught cheating, uh, steroids, whatever, I think that should count, count as a loss on your record. Yeah, you know? I agree with that. Be because I think a lot of these fighters, uh, sometimes they don't care about their pay getting docked, but yeah. every fighter seems to care about having a loss on their record. Yeah. They that, really bo shit. that really bothers them. Yeah. And so if, if if somebody missed weight and they're like, oh, you missed weight the last three fights, you're, you know, you, you, you're you 0 3 your last few fights. And then you, you go to the negotiating table to to negotiate your, you know, your contract thing and say, what are you negotiating? You, you've lost before the fight even took place. Yeah. And because they should give the guy who made the weight a win because if you can't be disciplined enough, in my opinion, to at least make fucking weight. Then that should that should dock you. You wasting everybody's time. Yeah, I think they had a two. They had to make you retire if you have three knockouts in a row too. Oh, you know a lot of those people get fucked up three times in a row. Yeah. Instead of turning into a fucking marshmallow, you oh, know. Yeah. CTE. Make them retire. CTE, man. Yeah. That's yeah. So because you got a lot of these guys will get knocked out time after time. Like Liddell at the end of his career. Right. Start getting punch drunk. Man, he would just a fucking. I mean, he would just get knocked out left and right, and yeah. And he still, like, slurs his words and shit. Yeah, that's not cool. But, yeah. I don't know, man. I think there's going to be some more organizations popping up and stuff. MMA is still going to grow, I think. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think it's going to grow, too. I mean, what I, what I like to see is that these new fighters, I mean, they, they start so young now. You can yeah. start training it, you know, four years old. You know? And, and so now... You know, the sport's gotten so big, and there's video games, and there's, you know, social media and things like that. So, so these these young athletes are being exposed to, to MMA, yeah. you know, at, a, at an earlier age. And I think the money's going to keep getting better for the fighters, which I hope it does. When Dana retires, it probably will because he's so fucking greedy, you know. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part about it. Is that is, is That's the downside of having a yellow card is these guys don't get paid as much. Yeah. As it is, I would have paid Francis whatever he wanted. I'd be like, we need to keep him here because if he's the best in the world, he needs to stay in the UFC. Right. They should have just coughed up the health insurance or whatever the fucking dude wanted and just kept him. Give him the money. Because he's give eventually going to lose. Everybody eventually right. loses. You know, it's a he, short career. Yeah. I mean, John Jones could have fucked him up. and then Even if he it, wins, it's such a short career. I mean, yeah. how long could he keep winning? Maybe two, three more give years? Give him the $20 million or whatever the fuck he wants for he's the gonna one put, fight. He's going he's gonna to make the UFC a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. A so I don't agree with him, like, losing a champion. Mm -hmm. You know, because he could go out somewhere else and, you know. I don't, I don't want to see do bare knuckle. Because I don't want to be the other person on the other side get hit. Man, that dude hits. He's the hardest hitting guy in the fucking world. Remember yeah. when they did the test? Yeah. 
the fucking dude is like, he, he hits you without gloves, man. That'd be a great fight between him and Wilder. The two of the hardest punchers in the planet. Yeah. He's swinging. That'd be you a know, good fight. That'd be dope. Somebody's getting knocked the fuck out. Oh, Ug- yeah. Ugly knockout. Even with Fury and, even if Fury and Francis fight, you know? Fury's a beast, man. He's, he, he's, he's, he can move. He's never lost. And uh, he, he might not have one punch knockout power, but he's gonna beat your ass, and he's, he'll eventually get you out of there. Yeah. You know, he'll, my favorite he'll was hit the, you enough time. My favorite was Deontay Wilder when Deontay knocked him down. I thought he was out. Right. The motherfucker just gets right up and just starts fucking. So fighting. what do you think about the count in that fight? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That was kind of sketchy. Yeah. But he just hopped the fuck up. Like, yeah, he did. The thing about it is, is my opinion is is referees and judges. I don't give a fuck what sport it is. Yeah. It could be ping pong. It could be table tennis. It could be which I think that's fucking ping yeah. pong. But it could be whatever soccer. Judges and referees make mistakes. There's all. There's gonna, gonna be a mistake. You can't. Yeah. You can't always think they're gonna do everything exactly like, right. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta. Hey, know. you might give a long count. Yeah. You gotta still win. Well, we don't know what angle they're fucking looking at. And right. It's like Dana always jumps on the referees. Right. Well, it's the fighter's job to not go to the referees. Right. You know, so if he can't go to the referees, that's the chance he's going to take. He might lose. Right. I mean, there are some shitty referees. There <laughs> are, but there's And some fighters. shitty judges. And there's, yeah. You know? That's true. That's true. And, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to kill a guy more than one. Like Ben Askren, you know? man. He, he was a shitty fighter. I mean, all he did is rustle around. He was a boring fighter. Mm-hmm. I think he was one of the boringest fighters of all times. And then he gets smoked by the fucking YouTuber, like, in a fucking, how many... No, but no, he got smoked by fucking uh, Masvidal. Masvidal, in like two seconds. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I just I didn't like that style of fighting. Yeah. You know, I know you got to be able to wrestle, but just when you're just trying to hold him to the ground, like. The and didn't Jake out. Paul knock his ass out? Jake too? Paul fucking smoked him too. <laughs> Damn. Jake Paul, I mean, I don't know, man. He smoked Silva, and that's that's. I thought he'd never do that. But the thing about it is, like these guys, you know, like Jake Paul is so smart picking these fights, and uh, he's not dumb enough to do an MMA fight with these guys. They double leg him, take him down, I choke him out, would, ground and pound. I think he, he called out Masvidal on MMA. Yeah, MMA rules. He said wow. he, he said he retired from boxing if Dana would up the pairs fight and or up the pairs. Uh, purses mm-hmm. but yeah i think he would man jake paul's got some fucking balls everybody hates on him and shit i see it online you know people hate on him and oh they're rigged they're rigged now nah, the dude can fight you know yeah they can fight the paul brothers are legit man they're and they're multi-talented i mean they have their fucking youtube channel yeah. and show i mean they've been making money since and they you see young. that motherfucker uh logan is it like his wrestling all that shit he was doing in the wrestling ring he's a, That's beast, a fucking acrobatic motherfucker yeah yeah, these guys are athletes. They're the real deal. I mean, they they entertain people and they play silly and stuff, but it's all marketing. And they're smart. They're, they're fucking smart. intelligent. He yes. knows what to say. He knows how to get under people's skin. You know, every time Dana talks about Jake, he's he's just raising his pay. Mm. You know, because he keeps him in the fucking news all the time. Yeah, he's a smart dude. So I'm curious to see what the fight's going to be. I mean, I know he's going to smoke him. And if he doesn't, I mean, you got to think. Tommy Fury, the the deal is if he loses, his own dad said he's got to change his name. Wow. You know? What? Yeah. You know, I didn't know bet. that. Yeah. Whoa. They're going to disown him if he loses to a YouTuber. The dad and Tyson both said that. Whoa. Yeah, so, you know, I mean... You got fucking smoked by a YouTuber, you know? Yeah, it's, it's fucked. Not, but the thing is, is people, you know... These, there's something called Renaissance Man. Back in the day, a Renaissance Man was a guy that <laughs> could do a lot of shit. He could fucking build things or make things, or he could do a lot of different jobs. And I think these guys are, are there's some Renaissance Man men that are out there, you know. And I think the Paul brothers are some. I mean, they're they're actors, they're entertainers, they're fighters, they're promoters, they're boxers. I mean, yeah. And the list goes on and on and on and on. These guys are are high. And it, and it helps to have millions of dollars in the bank because you can hire the best of everything. The best trainers. Best trainers. Best nutritionists. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're fucking, you're solid. If you have that kind of money, mm-hmm. I mean, you can get the best of everything. And I think that's what they've done. And uh, I don't know. I, w- I wish them all the best, but I mean, I don't know. I'm ready to see that fight. The fight's going to be fucking sick. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go very long. I think one, within one round. Because Jake hits so hard. I mean, look what he did to Anderson Silva. Yeah. 
just fucking cracked him. Yeah. And you were asking me earlier about uh, about uh, jiu-jitsu. Oh, Gordon yeah. Gordon Ryan. You are asking me what I thought about Gordon Ryan. <clears throat> yeah, I was on YouTube one time, and I saw this guy, Gordon Ryan. I'm like, I hear all, all these people calling him the greatest and all this. I'm like, what is the deal with him? So the Gordon Ryan, for those of you who don't know, uh, he's the greatest uh, submission wrestler of all time. Wrestling with submissions or... You know, jiu-jitsu, we like to call it no-gi jiu-jitsu, okay. meaning we're not wearing the kimono. We're okay. not wearing... And all a kimono is, it's a jacket, like what you have, yeah. a jacket, pants, and a belt to simulate clothing. Because if we were practicing fighting with this, and I grabbed it and pulled it, it'd probably tear. Yeah. The kimonos, the gis that we wear, they're basically indestructible. Yeah. They won't rip. Um, and uh, so, and they last for years. I mean, I've, I've got some of the kimonos that I've had for 17 years yeah. that haven't torn, that haven't ripped. And so instead of buying new clothes all the time, training in it, you, you train in a gi and kimono. What Gordon doesn't like to do is train or compete wearing a gi or wearing a kimono. He okay. likes to compete only with what we call no gi, which is just shorts, basically. Or what, what a, the rash UFC, guard, a rash or guard, a t-shirt or something. But And you're not allowed to grab the clothing. Okay. And he's the greatest of all time in that sport of no gi jiu-jitsu because you'll have different champions. I heard he's like 26 years old, so how is he that great? Because he's smoked everybody there's the beat. I and mean, he's beaten everybody there is the beat. And he's done it easily. Like, he's got really no competition at this point. Is his coach that great, John Danaher? His coach is great. And he's just he's just trains, you know, all the time. You know, yeah. Gordon is in the gym religiously all the time. And he's put in the work. And uh, he's put in know, some other stuff. Because I saw how big his That motherfucker is strong. Yeah. Which is, I mean, they don't. I don't know if they. I don't know how Do well they, they even te test. I don't think so. I don't know how well they test. And a lot of people, unfortunately, in the jujitsu world, you know, they're on, they're on, you know, gear, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of them, you know, whether it's. Um, but the Liver know, King is not. The Liver King is he not on gear? No, I'm just fucking with you. Is no, it? no, no. He he. Everybody bought that shit that he was selling. Everybody knew that motherfucker was on steroids. Yeah. You know, and then that. He, I don't know email. anything about this guy. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. Well, a leaked email came out. He was asking a dietitian or whatever. Told him he's on all this gear, and the email leaked. But is he a fighter or what was this? No, guy? Liver King. No, he he has, owns a supplement company, mm. and he thinks that eating raw fucking testicles and raw liver makes you look like him. Mm. So he was trying to sell his persona like, if you eat fucking cow balls, <laughs> you're gonna look like him. Or if you eat fucking raw liver, uh -huh. and he has this... So, so he's probably shredded or jacked. Oh, yeah, but he's a little guy. I mean, I've mm -hmm. seen him in person. What he's is a he, like, guy. my size, 5'6"? Five, five, he's about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, mm -hmm. but he looks like he's fucking enormous, but he's a little guy. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, he's... Uh, I think they said he spends $10,000 a month on roids oh, to shit. look like that. So now he's trying to get off there, and he's trying to claim he got... He, he looks that way because he eats fucking cow testicles and liver. Hmm. So, you know, he was a fraud, but he's entertaining, man. His videos are cool, you know, and you never watched him? Never. Oh, dude. No. I watch him on TikTok all the time, and he does these, these, these corny videos, and he's always, never wears a fucking shirt. He's at the UFC event, no shirt on. Every, I've never seen him with a shirt on. Whoa. <laughs> you know, that motherfucker will be in the pole land and the fucking ice caps, you know, with no shirt on. You know, he's a crazy dude. I think he lives here in Texas somewhere. Oh, wow. But, yeah. No, I heard a lot of hype with that Gordon Ryan, Ryan guy, too, man. Yeah, Gordon's a real deal, man. I mean, it's unfortunate that, that uh, he can't really find much competition. I mean, there's some young guys coming up. I think I think he'll find some tough competition real soon with these up-and-coming <laughs> no-gi grapplers, but, you know, in the past, I mean, he doesn't really even have any hard matches. I mean... Why doesn't he go to the UFC? You think he can fight? Um, I think he's making good enough money now, and CTE... How do you make you know, money in that? Is there good money in that? He's probably the only guy that's making big money. He's, I think he's the first jiu-jitsu athlete, you know, no, especially Nogi, uh, to make six figures or more. How do you think he could last with him around? Me? Yeah. Oh, man, he, he'd smash me probably. I, you know, uh, you know, he's, he's a tough Take dude. Technique or just because he's so big? Uh, both. I mean, his technique is, is legit. I mean, Gordon is no joke. I mean, he would, he would smash. I mean, uh, he would definitely beat me. How, how quick would he beat me? I don't know. I, I'd like to hope I could last at least a couple of minutes. You got to go down there, man, and do, and, and wrestle with it. Yeah. He yeah, seems like a pretty cool dude. my leg off. 
Yeah. yeah. No, he's a good guy. I, I mean, I don't know him personally, but he seems like a good dude. Yeah, I follow him on social media. I mean, yeah. he, he's he's confident. I mean, mm-hmm. he's 100% confident. In he's a beast, man. He's he's the real deal. I mean, you can't take anything away from the guy. He's legit. There's, you know, I don't know who can beat him. Uh, I just know that watching these, <clears throat> these uh, young guys coming up, they're really, really good. They're very technical. And a lot of the guys are putting in the same amount of time in the gym mat time on the mat training so he's gonna run into some competition here really soon. yeah yeah i mean that dude's big yeah i mean he's strong he's strong he's big he and he's taking an arm off with him when he does an arm bar and shit yeah and and some guys just don't like getting hit in the face you know especially so like i think it's easier to go from a a, a striking background into jujitsu into wrestling mm. um in my opinion and be comfortable getting hit yeah. Because if you've spent all that time, your entire life, not taking punches or kicks to the face or to the body, and then you get in there and guys are swinging at you, you see it all the time with some of the top jiu-jitsu guys in the world. When they get in the UFC, now all of a sudden, they're, uh, you know, now their jiu-jitsu is not the greatest anymore because yeah. they start getting hit in the head. And every time they get hit or kicked, it's almost like they stop dropping belt levels. They go from a black belt to a brown belt to... A, a purple belt to a blue belt to a white belt to a fucking beginner that's never stepped foot in, you know, on the mat because now, you know, you're getting hit. How long, how long has Gordon been training? Gordon's been training for a long time, man. Really? I, I'm pretty sure he's been, he's been on the mat for over 10 years. Yeah. For a long time. So since he's a young kid. Since he's, he's a young kid and uh, he's not really <clears> interested <throat> in doing like some of the guys that do gi, even the little guys, guys that are smaller than me, uh, I'm, you know, I fight at 145. But uh, these, some of these guys are, you know, uh, 125, and they're challenging Gordon to fight them <laughs> in a gi. I know Kyle Terra was challenging him. Kyle Terra fights at 125, and he's like, put on a gi, and I'll, you know, really? let me be able to grab your clothes and choke you with your clothes or throw you around with your clothes. And, you know, they didn't make that fight happen. But I would love to see that fight. I mean, you, uh, um, it would be a great fight. Um, I mean, obviously he can still... Grapple, grapple with a right gi with on. the gear. It just yeah. it's it's different. It's 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 like comparing like uh, yeah. it's so different. When, back in the, the younger days, my younger days, I did a lot of judo mm-hmm. uh, there at Bogman Lake with Vince Tamara. He had a school there. I did some judo during the day, so you you know you had to always grab the gi and do the tosses and all that stuff. That was some fun stuff. It, it changes the game when you yeah. can grab somebody's. Yeah. That's why a lot of guys will take their clothes off before they fight. They start yeah. undressing. You know, yeah. jacket comes off, shirt comes off. You know, because they don't want you grabbing them, controlling them, manipulating them with the clothing. It changes everything when you're yeah. able to grab clothing and or not grab clothing. So he's never lost, Gordon? He's lost when he was younger coming up as an up-and-coming fighter. But right now he's in his prime. He's bigger than he's ever been. Physically, he's stronger, <laughs> faster than he's ever been. And uh, and he's more technical than he's ever been. You know another one, one other asshole, before we wrap it up, one other asshole that this guy just pisses me off. He's, he just talks shit all the time. Dylan Dennis. Oh, Dylan Dennis, yeah. I mean, the guy always talks shit, but he doesn't he doesn't show up to the fights. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen him fight in forever. So he was supposed to fight K- KSI, and he just pulled out. Wow. You know, it was already scheduled and everything, and he just pulled out at the last minute. Said he didn't have time to prep. Yeah, because I know he was he was friends with Connor, and you know he's hanging out with Connor, yeah. and Connor had some losses, and I guess I don't see really see him with Connor anymore. Yeah. And I haven't really heard of you know I I know Dylan on his social media he's he talking about fighting and things like that and I, I I see him training I just don't see any fights Connor's about to get fucked up who's he fighting he's gonna fight Michael Chandler whoa that's gonna be a fucking Chandler's a fucking sick beast. ass fight Chandler's a beast man yeah. he will die on that and I like Dustin Poirier shield, too man. Dustin is a bad one. they bring it Dustin brings it Michael Chandler brings but it Chandler man that motherfucker kill or be killed even Connor brings it Connor and that's brings what's dangerous it? about Connor cause he brings it but he can get knocked out or submitted yeah, that way but- I mean, Chandler's an animal. Chandler's a I, fucking animal. What I, what I thought is, I think they're doing the Ultimate Fighter. They're coaching. Mm. Is what I what I heard. I didn't, so, even, heard, I didn't even know they were fighting. Yeah, man. that happens, man. Yeah, because Chandler's been asking for that fight for a while, mm-hmm. and Poirier wants that fight too. But no, I think Chandler's getting it. So, what do you think, man? As far as like for switching gears from, you know, uh, where the country's headed to where. It was when you were growing up. You think it's getting better? You think it's getting worse? Oh, you think no, it's about man. the same? This place is a sh- this place is turning to shit. People fast. keep saying that. I think I think it's like man, everybody always thinks when they remember. Look at the nostalgia, inflation. You know, I mean, price price fucking eggs these days. Yeah, eight fucking dollars. Yeah, 
I mean, just everything is so expensive because all the regulation and our government just spins like fuck. There's no accountability for right. anything, you know. So where did you where where did you where were you born? Where did you grow up? I was I grew up in Dallas. Okay, I was born and raised in Oak Cliff. Okay, and uh, yeah, so I mean, I just. I remember how great it was when we didn't have social media. So was Oak Cliff better back then or now? No, it's Oak Cliff is better now mm. from when I used to live there. It was pretty gangy back in the day, but now, you know, it's built up. They fixed it up. It was Especially like small. Bishop Arts. Yeah, and I was in that area. Yeah? Yeah. But Bishop it, Arts is really nice. It used to be pretty bad, you know, like Keys Park and all that stuff. It was pretty bad. See, so, so that's gotten better. Um, but some things have gotten worse, you know, maybe it's just life, man, you know? Well, people are getting, you know, people are, I don't know, man, they're just, I don't, I think a lot of it is how people raise their kids. They don't give them the ass whippings that we had back in the day. You so know? you used to get spanked? Man, I used to get fucking tore up. My mom would grab whatever she could fucking grab or whatever. Yeah, we used to get fucked up. And now, you know... So are you a big proponent of spanking? Do you, you believe uh, spanking works? Oh, I think you have to be shut. I mean, they need it. I mean, don't hurt them, but, you know, you, you got to put a little fear in them or they're going to go fuck up, you know? Right, right, right. And then kids are all attached to video games these days. Yeah. You know, there's no reality. You know, kids should be at parks and doing things, not playing fucking Fortnite 10 fucking hours, 15 hours a day. Yeah. You know? And all it... All it preaches is like shooting shit up, right? And then look at all the school shooting. But it's a lot shit. of guys, so I, I don't, you know, a lot of guys are the ones playing video games. A lot of the guys are the ones <laughs> shooting shit up. Why aren't the girls shooting shit? Women shooting things up, and why aren't women playing these video games? You know, that's a good. That's a pr actually a pretty good question, but you know, I, you know, that is a good question. That's hard to say. Yeah, because I, you know, I've so I, I've been single now for about. 18 months or so. I was married forever for 21 years and we're together for 23 and I've been going on dates and stuff lately and um, you know what I notice is a lot of the girls complaining about these guys playing video games all the time. You know for hours and, hours, and I don't I, get it. I hear a I, I mean, you got a beautiful girl right here. Why are you playing video games all day? I don't <laughs> understand. I'm forty. I'm pushing yeah. forty-three. You're forty-nine. I mean, maybe yeah. we're maybe we're old school, but I, I just don't. I mean, I, I hear the, I hear people like I hear women bitching all the time too about their boyfriends just sit at home and play video games. I mean, fucking go out and do something <laughs> constructive. Go fucking hiking or go outside and enjoy outside. I I don't see the point of sitting there playing a fucking video game all day. Right. I mean, I understand like my seven-year-old. He's pretty bad. I have to get them off that shit because it's gonna fucking warp. They get brain. addicted. Yeah, they get addicted, man. These these guys are addicted. And you I know, mean, like these games where they're fucking like this Grand Theft Auto game. I mean, they're running the titty bar, shooting up titty bars and shit. I mean, like, what kind of education? What are they getting good from that? Nothing. Mm. You know, it's just it's. I don't know. I think everything's just changed. How people are brought up, and then you got a lot of things now. Everybody's scared to discipline their kids because they're scared of. The uh, oh, yeah. child protection service or DHL, or who, whatever they call them. Oh yeah, CPS. But, yeah. You know, and kids know. Hey, my mom hits me, I can call this and get her arrested. You know, people know. Yes. The government's getting into everybody's business to the point where, I mean, this is not a free country anymore. There's nothing free about it. If it's free, why do we have to have a permit for everything we do? Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing free about America anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't see. You know, I mean, I got spanked growing up, you know, yeah, and uh, it kept me out of a lot of trouble. Uh, but I, but I know that, you know, also besides spanking, I think there's some parents that do a good job of, of, of some of them of, of being able to discipline their kids without spanking them. Yeah, you know, I think, I think, in my opinion. Once a kid gets a certain age, you got to do it when they're younger. It's just like a puppy. Yeah. You know, you and you don't have to hit them hard. You can just grab their hand and just, you yeah, know, when they're yeah. when they're two, three years old. But if you just let them run around and do what they want, by the time they're sixteen yeah. and they're bigger than you, they're gonna do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. To now do. kids are like fucking Neanderthals, man. Your fucking own kid will be choking you out at twelve, you know. <laughs> and you know, I think you just need more ass whipping, less government, you know, and let them handle your business. And and a lot of 
Think about all these scumbag guys that don't fucking raise their kids. And the yeah, mothers yeah, or true. the grandmothers are stuck raising them. Yeah. They don't have a father figure. That's so sad. they grow up all fucked up. That's sad. A lot of the kids' dads are fucking worthless. Right. Did you grow up with a dad? I, my dad died when I was real young. I think oh, he died sorry, when man. I was 12 or 13. Oh. So I didn't have that. So my mom had to play the dad role, the mother role. But we didn't have all the social media and all the bullshit to distract us. You know? And she... And she Played the disciplinary role. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine. So she'd whoop some ass, you know, take off a belt or make you go pick a fucking switch. Right. You know, and so that's what my grandma any, did. Did you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have two, two, well, I have two sister. Well, I have one, one sister just passed. Dude. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, I have a, a sister and a brother. Okay. And they're all, they're all, and then everybody right. got spankings and everybody. Yeah, and everybody grew up okay. I was the fucking the outlaw of the fucking group but whatever you know I was the outcast getting in trouble when I was younger and stuff but I didn't go shoot up any fucking school to do anything stupid you know? right right yeah but, yeah I mean it, something needs to change man we need like real but our, our politicians aren't role models either I mean look at Biden everybody makes fun of him there's no there's no leadership at mm -hmm. all you know from the top down you know when did you think that changed oh man I think when Trump was in there, things were going in the right direction. Mm. And then when Biden got in there, I think just the fucking hell broke loose. Well, Trump has another chance, right? Yeah, but look at Trump's age, too, man. He mm. could go downhill. His mental capacity could be like Biden's, you know? Mm. I mean, I think Trump's pretty... He's still sharp, but... Is you know, there anybody else on the horizon you'd vote for you want to see run? Or? Um, I like Jim Jordan. Mm -hmm. I like Matt Gates. Mm -hmm. I like uh, I like I used to like Trey Gowdy, but he's retired because he's like I can't do any politics anymore because it was all screwed up. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know on the Democrat side, I haven't seen anybody. I mean, we damn sure don't want that fucking Californian screwball out here. Who's that? Uh, Gavin Newsom. Oh, because nobody's taking my fucking guns. That ain't happening. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody's taking any guns, especially from Texans. There's no fucking <laughs> way. Can, no can you imagine way. these motherfuckers come to all these rednecks in Texas all no. over the place and try to take their guns? It's not going to happen. Nobody's taking these guns. It'd be a guns. serious war. Yeah, I think they're just trying to figure out a better way of regulating and trying to keep guns away from these crazy people, which I think if your dog bites the shit out of somebody, you're in trouble. And yeah. I think it should be the same way. If you're a crazy-ass kid, because these parents know that their kid is fucking batshit crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know if you have a batshit crazy kid in your house, and you yeah. let your batshit crazy kid yeah. around your guns, you should be liable, in my opinion. You should be in trouble, and I think that will help yeah. curb... Um, yeah. you, know your kids kids. A, you know your kid's a fuck-up. Yeah, man. if I have some crazy-ass yeah. kid in my house, I'm not letting them get near my guns. I'm either going to lock them up, or I, I might not be able to have a gun. If you have a, if you have a crazy kid that lives with you, that may shoot up a school, you should not own a gun. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's it's part of having a crazy ass kid that might shoot somebody, yeah. you know, shoot up yeah, a school. It's, it's supposed to be for, for protection. And yeah, you, you see those kids, man, you know, they're nerdy looking motherfuckers and they're, uh, you know, they're all like, you can just look at somebody's eyes and tell if he's fucked up. Right. Pretty much. I can. I mean. Yeah. But yeah, they, they know these kids are sitting around fucking playing video games all day. They won't come out of the room and shit. They know something's yeah, wrong. Yeah, they, they know that their kid is off. And if I mean, uh, and a lot of the their their peers and teachers will tell them, "Hey, your kids, something's wrong with this kid." And if your you kid's know? not chasing girls or you know being strange like that, you know something's wrong with them. Right. Because what did we do when we were younger? Chase fucking women. I mean, what do we do now? Chase fucking women. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing should change. I mean, as long as your thing works, you're, you're fucking straight. Yeah, you don't want to shoot up any... Now, when that goes wrong, then you're fucked, you know? But you don't want to shoot up a school if you're chasing beautiful women all day. Yeah, but go chase yeah. women or do something to out constructive. But these fucking video games, I think they need to be less video games. Yeah? You know? You think video games need to be more yeah. regulated? And then in school, I mean, they're teaching all kinds of fucked up shit. Like... Like know, what? Like... You, you, you know the... Well, I mean, they just teach them, like, the race, critical race theory and all that bullshit. And just, like, a, just, I don't, I don't know, man. They just, they need to teach people things that are, well, they're going to survive in life. Like, teach them how to. Do your taxes. Do your taxes. Keep your credit straight. Yeah. Teach them things that they need to know when they're in the real world. Right. You know? I, yeah, I went to public school, so I don't know anything. They didn't. <laughs> So. You don't fucking learn shit at school. Yeah, I didn't learn anything in public school. I learned more shit off YouTube than I fucking learned <laughs> at school. 
I mean, that's how it, it's, it's true. Yeah, I mean, Googling you learn, shit. You just Google things and you can you figure can, shit out. You can fucking figure out how to fucking do perform surgery on somebody on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, why do you need fucking? I mean, school doesn't really do anything. I mean, all you gotta do is be able to count and write, <laughs> and you're good. What about reading? Oh I mean, yeah, you need to write, read. Yeah. You know, but if you can write, you can read. That's true. But yeah, I mean, teach them some shit, meaningful shit, and half of these fucking teachers in school are fucking struggling. So how are they a role model? Some of them people are making like thirty G's a year and struggling, can't pay their bills. So your kids are supposed to look up to those people as being successful? You know, it's it's all fucked up, I think. Yeah, it is. it is. You know, and some of these teachers are just fucking stupid, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, what's the, I mean, no, nobody seems to know what the fix is. I don't know. know. I, don't, I don't know if you can fix it in this. I think it's so far gone. I don't know if you can fix so it. So would just people just kind of do whatever? Even if Trump gets in there for four years and tries to clean it up. Okay, by the time he gets anything cleaned up, it's four year terms. You, you, you think we're going to get getting closer to the Mad Max days, Mad Max reality? I wish we'd go back to the fucking Western days. Where yeah. You, you have a problem, man? Fuck, pull your gun. <laughs> Shoot that motherfucker. <laughs> well, I mean, not, yeah, but people are shooting. Remember, if you have a problem in the saloon, man, you just grab your fucking, you go out in the street and you solve your problem. And what, do you, and what you're saying is adults having a problem with another yeah, adult. adults, adults. Yeah, not yeah, kids yeah, yeah. fucking shooting schools or but everybody's a uh, keyboard warrior too like everybody gets like, like on this YouTube video whatever somebody's always gonna be on there talking shit because most people that talk shit are just miserable people probably sitting at home mommy's paying bills and you know people just talk shit Nobody will front you anymore. Right. In your face and throw fists. What do they call that? Like mutual combat or something like that? Where you can, yeah. you know, back in the day, you'd fucking take off your glove and slap somebody or something. Yeah. And you have a duel. Yeah. And it should be not, in my opinion, not with guns. Just fucking duke it out, man. It's fine. Some of the best friends. Come in the boxing gym. Put yeah. on some gloves and fucking work it out. Yeah. However you, you want to do it. Then you guys will hug at the end. And yeah, then you're good. yeah. Grab a beer after. That's yeah. how I met some of my best friends yeah. growing up as kids. We would fucking fight punch each other yeah. in the face nobody would die and then we'd be friends after yeah that. i remember cool. we used to have in the the grounds at school man and in, in oak cliff we'd have fucking fights in the back you know you had a problem you'd meet at recess you'd fucking hit each other a couple Duke times it out, and that's it and you're done but now the teachers want to suspend everybody and kick you out of school and you can't fight and they, these kids holding all that aggression yeah because they especially want, boys they got to get it out they want everybody to be pussies you know look that's at look, look at any animal look at look at puppies and cats and bears and wolves they wrestle all the time yeah. they're always tussling and wrestling and they love each other i tell my kid you if know? he gets bullied you fuck the people up i mean grab something fucking whack them with it if you have to you know yeah if defend you get, yourself you know defend yourself always stand up for yourself you know yeah and, and still that but everybody talks shit on social media but nobody will really do anything in your face that's why i don't really worry about anything because people that are really going to do something aren't going to talk about it mm. you know and the type of shooting you're talking about is these guys are, are agreeing to mutual combat not shooting somebody in the back or they don't know you're coming and you know what i mean yeah. sneaking up on them that's that's some bullshit you know that's that's or sucker punching sucker punching like bitch that's that's coward shit yeah. but you know you're talking about hey we're gonna meet at this place at this time we're gonna fucking back to back we walked fucking 15 yeah. 20 paces turn around and blast each other or now you, know? you or you know or people that just fucking 10 people jump on one person yeah that's, that's fucking shit, stupid so. yeah it's... you can't go one-on-one -on -one, you know i used to i used to have to fight a lot of kids when i was younger that's why what i did i did karate most of the years of my life and stuff because i had fucking like Bright red hair, man. Freckles and shit when I was kid. I was an ugly motherfucker. And, uh. She had the glow up. Yeah. James the glow up. So I was like the redheaded fucking stepchild, man. So people fucked with me all the time. And I got chased home from school a couple times. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna turn around and fight these motherfuckers. And I started working out and, and uh, doing different classes and, and whatever. And then finally just picked the biggest kid in my school, just walked up to him and just threw two or three on him, and he was done. Nobody ever fucked with me after that point. Yeah, you know, and 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 that that helps you to grow too when you can you, when you can internalize that and and you know it's got to be a scary feeling to go and challenge a bully or especially a big bully, yeah. and, and in front of all the the kids at school because you might lose that fight but at least you got heart. Yeah, at least you, you stand up to them. You know, you're, yeah, you're showing people, hey, you might beat me, but I got heart. It and don't it matter if you fucking easy. lose. Yeah, you got to have some character and fucking. Give balls. Them all you got. Have some balls, you know? you know. Like with me, you know, we go out all the time and stuff, and we get people that talk shit. I've just had to stand up to many people. Right. Most of the time, when you stand up to them, they just fucking walk away. You know, they they don't want it. 
you know? Right. Um, but every time I've had my ass kicked, it's been a little fucking scrawny guy. You know? Yeah. The big guys usually are pussies. Well, yeah, because they don't have much fight experience. The bigger you are, you know, nobody's fighting you. Yeah, nobody's really know? fighting but you. But if you're smaller... Um, or if you, you look funny, or you yeah, fucking yeah, whatever. A you lot know? Of, a lot, yeah. That's why I tell people, if, you know, if you fight a if you fight a big straight dude, it's probably not going to be that tough of a fight. But you fight a fucking gay dude. A lot of gay guys have been in fights, and they can fucking fight, man. Yeah. They can throw down. They've been bullied their whole lives. Exactly. They've been especially gay guys that are closer to our age. I don't yeah. know about I don't know how many gay dudes are fighting. I never nowadays, fought any gay dudes, but, but I've I mean, you know I had had some gay friends growing up, and they could fight because they were getting picked on all the time. Yeah. And so they were they were getting fight experience. Yeah. If you're fighting all the time, that's fight experience. You know, you're out there in, in you know in an alley or streets, and you're having to defend yourself, or in the parking lot at yeah. school, or or whatever. And these guys could throw down. Yeah, you know? they, yeah. they can throw down. And even nowadays, I mean, you know, there's some of these. You know, if you got fight experience, it doesn't matter what your sexual preference is. You can fucking fight. Yeah. You know, but the guys who are bigger, a lot of them don't have. They can't fight. I mean, we get yeah. them all the time that come into the gym and. They're big and they don't even know how to throw a punch. I mean, they're swinging like this, you know, and and these guys are just big and, they, and they're like, I've never had to fight. They need to enter them. Dana White slap thing. They might be able to slap. I, I don't really like that slap show, man. I, I saw it. I, I think people were gonna get fucked up by that. Yeah. Some people can slap hard. I've seen some of their faces. I mean, because they're not defending that it. That one not, was, Yeah, he looked like a look. fucking elephant man. He got fucking just slapped up. I don't like things dude. like that. That's not to me. That's not competitive you 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 go and i just sit there and wait and then i go no we're fucking moving we're fucking and you're trying to protect your fucking head you're just standing there let the motherfucker bitch slap you yeah and just take it you can't even move out the way or just even absorb it somehow i you think just gotta... it, i think it'd be cool if it was just a women's sport right but dude some dudes hit too fucking hard man <laughs> they're gonna kill somebody yeah they're gonna crack they're gonna fold somebody's skull i think somebody gets killed on that before or anything else that one dude that had that fucking oh, dude. dude got smacked and his head was in pain or whatever. I saw that. Like, ah, you know, I like, saw that. Yeah, I, I saw that. I think people were get fucked up. I mean, maybe, maybe have like chicks under 125 or 115. Yeah. Let them slap the shit out of each other. <laughs> They're just hitting each other the whole fucking time. You know, that can't knock each other out. Or maybe let them block once. You know, let them. You get one block. Yeah, one block <laughs> or something like that because. Seriously, man. <laughs> That's dope. Would you want somebody's fucking hand tattooed I'm on your fucking face? I'm surprised you're not promoting that kind of shit. Slap fighting. Man, if I knew how, I would probably would. Yeah. Just yeah, have them fucking I probably would. tie up a, what, a rope or whatever the fuck on their hand so they can't move their other arm. And why, not, why not handcuff, have fighting with just one hand where you handcuff them? I've seen other. that. The guys that were have doing you? that. Yeah, the guys that, that started the UFC, the original founders of the UFC, they had that. They had guys that would strap them or handcuff them. Somehow they would attach one arm to like a, a pole, and then the other hand they're just fucking you punching just let the them shit out of each other. Each other. Yeah, until the other one breaks. But to me, I don't like stuff like I like like MMA, I like jujitsu, I like UFC, I like you know boxing, Muay Thai. You yeah, know, like like one on one. Yeah, you know let these guys fucking you know use their brains, use their technique, use their you yeah, know. yeah. I mean, there's yeah. I mean, I like to see it all too, and it's I mean it's getting better. I mean. At least now they have it's sanctioned and stuff. Like the old school USC, that was my favorite. The Hoist Gracie shit. Yeah, when there was no the dude uh, comes in and fucks everybody up. No weight know. classes, yeah. no time limits. That shit was fun. It's still fun. I'll go back and watch some of those old fights, man. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I watched uh, fucking Rashad against uh, fuck, I can't remember his name, but he won the Ultimate Fighter show, and uh, he fought some tall guy. Brad Imes, man, that was a fucking yep. badass fight, man. And I yep. saw some other, some old fights with like Mark Colm, uh, Hammerhouse yeah, Coleman, Mark Hammer Coleman. Yeah. Fuck, man, that shit was good. Mark Kerr, you know, yeah, those guys, you could fucking grab people and fucking knee them in the head while they're down. <coughs> you know, you don't like it, tap out. You know, just tap out. That's all you gotta do. Just nobody really got fucked up back then. No, you just tap the fuck out, or the ref will stop it. Yeah, nobody really got you fucked up. You know, the ref then. will stop it, the corner would stop it, throwing a towel. Yeah, nobody, you know. Yeah, but people are man. People they risk their lives for like pennies. Some of these new these new fighters. They and don't shit. get paid shit, man. I mean, fucking twelve fucking grand. Fuck. I mean, that's that's all they make in a year. That's before taxes. Fuck that shit. Yeah, that's what people don't understand. These fighters life? aren't getting paid. Fuck man. no. These fighters are not getting paid. I mean, and you got to be such a high level and be a super have the personality like a Conor McGregor to 
if you don't have the personality, you might get get shit. Yeah, you got to be the top 1% fighter in the world to even make any money fighting. In, in MMA. You can yeah. make money boxing. Um, you can make money, you know, uh, uh, in other sports. But for some yeah. reason, in MMA, these promoters, man, they keep it all. You yeah, know? And, I, and, and like you were saying before, Dana, UFC is the biggest name in the sport. And so I think Dana has the power to, to change that. I mean, he let Francis go, which is crazy. But... Um, I mean, you gotta pay these people, man. I, yeah. And I think it'll help the UFC. If, I think if the UFC actually pays these guys, it'll be good all the way around. I think the UFC will even make more money because what's what draws people to the NBA? What draws yeah. people to the NFL? Is these kids know if I can make it in this, I get paid. So you now you got a feeder program of all these people wanting to get paid. Even the parents are encouraging you, like, yeah, go to yeah. go to the NFL, go to the NBA. You can make money. You know, go to the MLB. You can make money. You know, now you got parents that are probably talking their kids out of fighting MMA or fighting in the UFC because you're not going to make any money. What's the fucking point? You're yeah. going to make more money doing almost any other job. Almost any other job. Yeah. You know? I, I don't know, man. I think Dana White's a fucking tight motherfucker. You know, when he got rid of Francis, I mean, I don't know, man. He should That's a bad move. He should have just at least got him one more fight mm -hmm. to see if Jones could fuck him up. He's even at Francis, he made a deal with Francis, man. Francis could have lost after that, and he could have he could have cut him. Yeah, you know, but he should have just paid him whatever the fuck he wanted to have that fight. Mm. John Jones versus Francis is the biggest fight. Yeah, that'd be you know? that'd be. A, that'd I think be... Dana White made a bad mistake on that. Yeah, yeah. And I want to see Francis fuck somebody up. What about John Jones? You think John Jones is is going to be the what is it, Cyril Kane game? Uh, Man, I think John Jones will. I'm not really a John Jones fan. Mm -hmm. But the guy's good, man. He's, he's, never, good. he's undefeated. Yeah, he's undefeated. He's, but he never lost. I've just never been so keen on him because he was always in the controversy. DWI, right. beating his chick, whatever. Mm -hmm. He just kind of soured me, but, you know. If you go off of not his outside of the cage, but yeah. you just go off of what he does in the cage, he's one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. I would love to see him have fought Daniel Cormier clean. You know, with no with no uh, steroids yeah. and stuff like that, just fight him clean, man, and just let see what happens. You know, just whatever happens, happens. And and I would love to see him and Cormier have fought even at heavyweight, where Cormier didn't have to cut any weight, because that's got to take a lot out of you. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, Cormier is cutting forty pounds, man. Yeah. That takes a lot. How can you fight after cutting forty pounds? I, I think Francis would have beat Jones. I think he would have ended his career. Yeah. I don't know. If that fool gets him. a hold of you or gets on top of you and hits you a couple times, you're fucking done. And rest in peace, Rumble Johnson. But I would love to have seen Rumble yeah. Johnson fight John Jones. Oh, yeah, that never him. happened. But Rumble, that would have been fucking yeah. awesome, man. He's one of my favorite. Rumble's fighters. a fucking beast, man. Yeah. And Did they ever say why he passed away? No, I, he was sick, but I don't know. A, I don't know what he had. That was I don't a know cool if he had a dude. disease or cancer. I don't know what how he died, yeah. but I know he looked yeah. sick. He lost a bunch of weight. He got down to like my size. He was a fucking beast. He was a fucking animal man just knockout power and he would cut weight like crazy too he would walk really? on at fucking heavyweight and cut down to 170 Damn. and then he then he, he started fighting at 205 just laying people out yeah i was there at rashad's last fight and he 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 won but he didn't look very good and he was you can tell he was done with his career oh rashad, rashad evans, evans yeah. yeah yeah he he you know i used to like watching all those guys fight man yeah I yeah i mean your time's always up i mean it's just too it's a short it's a short yeah. uh careers but you need to get enough money like mark coleman you, know, you gotta he, get paid it's sad to see get, these guys man he's broken retired down. he's broke you know and it reminds me of the wrestler have you seen that movie the wrestler yeah with mickey Rourke. yeah i saw that last night and um it reminds me of that man these guys they they put their blood sweat and tears in their soul and yeah and, and then if you get knocked out a couple times and then uh you know and they don't make any money man. yeah it's fucking crazy man yeah it's i don't know crazy. man maybe I want to see Dana in a slap contest. But you see guys like Ronda, uh, or, or girls like Ronda Rousey and guys like um, Kane Velasquez going over to WWE, and they're actually making money. Making big money. Big money, and you can't fault them for that. Yeah. You know, and I know damn well that the UFC could probably pay them close to Oh, that. UFC could pay them more. Yeah. More, yeah. Yeah, like Lesnar. He's over there killing it. Yeah, Lesnar's making a shit ton of money. I don't blame him, man. Make your money. Save your brain. Lesnar was entertaining, money. too, in the UFC. Yeah, but they threw him to the Wolves. I would love to have seen them, like, 
build them up as a fighter yeah. and, and let them learn jujitsu and let them learn how to box and let them learn Muay Thai. They're just like, oh, you're you're fighting the fucking who's who right off the gate. He's fighting the top guys yeah. in the world, and he and he didn't do too bad. He beat some of them, and he got beat by some of them, but he was always entertaining and he was always game. Oh yeah. I mean, I know Kane beat the fuck out of him, but Kane, I mean, how can you take somebody who's green in the sport yeah, and, give him, Kane, and feed it, him fucking Kane Velasquez? I know Kane's got his legal bullshit, but why doesn't Kane fight anymore? Well, he's, w, he's WWE. He's making uh, more money. You know, he's going to make he seems a hundred badass, times more money. He, he's WWE. a badass heavyweight. Yeah. And he, was a, he was, you know, he was fucking people up. Yep. A fucking machine, man. A cardio fucking machine. Yeah. He's a fucking, he was one of the greatest of all time. One of my favorites. Uh, I mean, who's your favorite fighter of all time? I like Frank Mir. Yeah. I mean, I liked him. Um, fuck, my favorite. It's hard to pick. Even people ask me all the time, and I'm like, fuck, how do you pick? I mean, Hoist, because he's, he started it all. He's the original. Yeah, I mean, you know? I, I liked Hoist. You gotta, you gotta give Hoist credit. I mean, Hoist I is like great. Shamrock. I like... Pretty much, you all. know, and then and then I like Jose Aldo. You yeah. know, he's a he's, he's a had stud. he's had some fucking wars. Yeah, you know, didn't he retire? I think he retired too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's done. He's yeah, done, he's man. Done. He had a fucking career. But he wants to go to boxing. Well, does he? Yeah, I'm like, dude, he's been in some fucking wars. He's been in some wars, man. And I, I like the shit talking part too. So I I do like Connor because he's so fucking. I mean, all these fighters are talks. you know. I like I like Daniel Cormier. I like yeah, I like, John, I like DC. I like John Jones. I like DC. I like. There's too many to name. There, there's so many good fighters, man. So many le good legends. Um, you know, I even like Connors. Connors always game, man. He brings it. He fights. You I like know? Poirier too. Fucking, I think he's uh, entertaining. Khabib. See, I, I just don't like Khabib's style. No. You know, I mean, he was, he doesn't lose. Yeah, but they said he's the greatest. Well, I don't know if he's he was the greatest of all time. I don't know because he didn't really. He didn't. I mean, he fought some good people, but. He's going to still fought a lot of people. It's kind of like with Rocky Marciano. You know, he never lost, and he, and he beat everybody you put in front of him. But, you know, people wanted to see these other matchups that never happened. Same thing with Khabib. They never s saw these matchups that would have, could have, should have happened. And so they have that asterisk next to their names, like Khabib. And, I like Chamaya too. But Khabib's never lost, man. He beat every fucking man on the planet they put in front of him. He, be he beat the shit yeah. out of him. Yeah, what do you think about uh, Shemaev, you think yeah, he'll be the, he's, uh, he's, the next champ? Or? He's fucking scary, man. Yeah, I kill everybody. I kill everybody. <laughs> I kill your family. You know, he's a crazy motherfucker. I mean, he. <clears throat> yeah, he's scary, dude. Yeah, he's a scary dude. So what's what's uh, on on Tiger King? I mean, is there anything going on with that? I mean, you guys are in talks about the. Yeah, we're in talks about doing another another deal, another four uh, season four, uh, because the story keeps unfolding. Mm. So we're on talks, but everybody does. Nobody gets along with each other, so everybody, you know, it's hard to get everybody on the same page. Because and so, and everybody hates each other. So how do they approach you to be in the documentary? They just the producer will reach out. And they're like, hey, will you do this and that. I mean, and why do they want to do a doc? Why did they want to do the documentary in the first place? Well, I mean, it's an interesting story. There's fucking meth. There's tigers. There's fucking gay people. I mean, there's all kinds of shit. It's just like it's a fucking train wreck, you know? Yeah. And pretty much the only thing that sells these days is fucking drama. Mm. I mean, look at the Kardashians. Mm. People pay to watch that shit. So, you know, the reason Tiger King did so well is because of the COVID. Right. You know, but there's, you know, if Carol gets arrested or Joe gets out of jail, the story is still unfolding. So, I think it would still, you know, the hype is there. Mm. You know, and it's real big over there overseas in Europe. You know, and what do you, and then you brought up gays. I, I wanted to ask what your your opinion on this. It seems like is it, is there more gay people now? What? 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 Is there is you think is there more gay people now, or has there always been this amount, or are people? Uh, I think people are just more open about it now because mm. it's accepted everywhere. Mm. You know, so. Um, I mean, I don't have a problem with gay people. Whatever, I don't either. Whatever you want to do with, in behind your door, do whatever. I mean, yeah. I'm not keen if somebody fucking hits on me or some shit. I'll kind of freak the fuck out. <laughs> with female, male, both? I mean, well, I mean, I'm a guy, man. 
Are you gonna freak out if a chick hits on you? They're just the gay dudes. Just the gay dudes. Yeah. Dude. I mean, I don't mind two chicks like making out in front. I mean, I don't get offended by that at all. Yeah. As long as they're hot, they don't look like men. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't. I don't understand. Like some of these chicks are, they have boy, they have girlfriends mm -hmm. that look more manly than I do. Mm. So I'm like, why don't you just go with the man? You know, I don't know. I don't see the whole maybe, maybe science they, behind maybe it. Maybe maybe they had some bad experience with men, and yeah. just and just maybe yeah. the women treat them and better. For the gay guys, I can I can back them on that too. I mean, not that I've ever been gay, not that I would ever be gay. I mean, unless enough money was involved. <laughs> but um, think about all the shit these women put you through, and breakups, and divorces, and shit. Right? Women will fucking almost turn you fucking gay these days. <laughs> I mean, I've been through some relationships where... <laughs> where you're like, oh, man, maybe I should... I might go fucking play with penises or something and <laughs> get away from this bullshit. And Being maybe that's why they all do the time it. and just yelling and screaming in your fucking ear all the time. Where are you at? What are you doing? Who are you with? Blah, 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 you know? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think relationships are tough no matter if you're uh, hard. You know, no matter if you're straight, gay, well, trans, nobody whatever. trusts relationships anybody, are, relationships I think. Are hard. Man. Is that nobody trusts anybody? Mm. I think you know, and there's too many. I mean, women are pretty aggressive now too, and I think women see a wedding ring and stuff as like fucking you're like prey. I mean, they just you know they hit on married men. There's just mm. like no trust. Anywhere. A friend of mine was telling me about that. He was. I was like, what is it about about a guy I, that has women gets more women? Yeah. You know, and the guy that doesn't have women gets less women. I get more offers when I'm in a relationship than when I'm not. Right. And my buddy of mine was telling me that uh, he believes is because they perceive a man that has more women as being valuable. And yeah. if they see a man that doesn't have a lot of women, they see as he's not as valuable and there might be something wrong with him because why yeah. don't there any girls like him? Yeah. You know, it's I crazy. mean, I want a rich bitch. So that's what I'm looking for. You're, so like, you, you're looking for a so sugar if mama. So one of y'all can take care of me, I will cook and clean. Yeah. I want a sugar mama. Yeah. You know, older lady. I don't want to know from none of these fucking young 20 year olds. How old do you want? Well, not old. I mean, obviously, I want her shit to work and everything. You know, maybe late 30s, early 40s. <laughs> so late 30s is not old, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Mid thirties now is like fucking retirement age. Oh, you know, shit. Because women are starting to look a lot rougher than they are because they don't take care of themselves like they used to. Whoa. So, yeah. and it's true. I hate to say that, mm -hmm. but yeah, I know women put you through a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Unnecessary bullshit. When you have kids with them, they put you through more bullshit. Psychological fucking warfare they use on you. And that's that's what I don't like about yeah, that. Relationships are tough, man. Because I see, I see even like my gay friends, um, you know. They seem to have just as many issues as straight people, and I don't. Care. Oh, they do too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the relationships are hard. You know, I, I think anytime you're with somebody uh, for so long, for so many hours in the day, you get start getting fucking tired of each other sometimes, and and it's hard. The difference of opinion, you putting two different people together, and you got to compromise and things. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything wrong with being straight, but I also don't think there's anything wrong with being gay. No, not at all. There's nothing I mean, wrong with being gay, there's nothing wrong with being straight. What I don't like is the people that try to make you feel like there's something wrong with being straight. Or people yeah. that try to make you feel like there's yeah. something wrong with being gay. No, there's nothing wrong with either one. Whatever they want to do, I mean, that's their choice. It's your choice, you know? So Gay people have just as much right to be unhappy as the rest of us. Exactly. You know? Yeah, but gay guys... <laughs> or happy. Gay guys bicker and fight a lot, too, so, I mean... I don't know. Relationships maybe, are hard, man. Yeah. You maybe, think it's better just to stay single? Or? I think it's better to stay single and I had to put up with the fucking torture. Yeah. You know, play the field a little bit. And then if you run into one that has a lot of money, that's cool. You know, then, you know. I mean, I, I'm just not personally taking care of a woman again. Like, this bitch had better have her shit together. She better have a job. So were you ever married? Uh, I was married one time for six months. And that yeah. fucking shit didn't work. And I would never do that again because it's like once you sign the paper, mm -hmm. it's like they own you. Yeah. You know, and then you have to give her half of whatever you work for. Mm. Fuck that. So let me ask you a question. So a, humans, you know, made up marriage as far you know the way the way human beings say marriage is supposed to work 
is you agree to marry each other, you take that document, you file it with the government, mm -hmm. right? And then when you want to get divorced, you, you do paperwork with the government. And then it has all this bullshit. But the, the downside to that is now you got people just doing whatever. Oh, it doesn't count because we haven't filed this sheet of paper. But, you know, looking at it the way God created it, you know, back in, back yeah, in the Bible days, yeah. sex is marriage. You know, Adam and Eve, they didn't file a paperwork with the government. They just fucked and you're married. And it says in the Bible, even if you sleep with a prostitute, you're married to her. So whoever you have sex with, you're, that's your life partner. Fuck, I owe a lot of people money. <laughs> well, well, that's what, you know, that, but that's the thing is, is it's, like, it's, it's whoever you have sex with, you're supposed to be married. And I think people would be a lot more picky if that was the case. If you, they found out, hey, you guys slept together, you guys are married. I mean, you is know? there, is there a, I mean, is it a bad thing to pay for prostitutes? Um, I mean, they did it in the Bible. Yeah. You know? And you know, the thing is, you don't pay them for the sex. You pay them to leave. Yeah. So, I mean, it's consensual. As long as it's consensual, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. And if anything. it's your body, you should be able to sell it if you want. If you want to make a living off your body, yeah, do it. Just make sure you fucking keep it clean, you know? Yeah, I mean, you got that OnlyFans started up. Yeah, right? I'm starting it now. I'm going to run some girls' social media pages and stuff. And why do you think people care about other people? what other people do behind closed doors? Why do you think that bothers people so much? I don't know, man. People is it jealousy? Is it envy? Is it might it, be jealousy. I mean, is it, people are just why do they? Why do people want to control people? Why do people give a fuck what another person does anyway? Yeah, you know exactly. If he's, if he's shoving fucking gerbils up his ass, who fuck cares? That's his thing. Let him do that. Right. Okay. But you know, everybody's in everybody's business to the point where just bullshit you know who gives a fuck well, mind your own business right the world would be a greater place so, yeah so if you had if you, you see know, somebody over here with their grass high don't call the fucking law on them that's their business it's their land let them do what the fuck they want to do mm. everybody calls in on everybody now especially facebook when you're man. successful social media they're just flagging you. when you're successful they hate on you there's the issues and Everybody just needs to get along with everybody and quit. Fuck. Everybody just feuds. Yeah. You know, and the cops, you know, I don't know. They're, yeah, I heard they beat up the shit out of some dude. Yeah, they're always fucking Recently, somebody I, up. Yeah. I haven't got a chance to see the video. I, I heard some black cops be, beat the guy to death. I haven't got a chance to see the video. I've been trying to find the video. That, I don't want to see the fucking edited was video. Was it a white guy, black guy? It was a black cops. They, they, they got found guilty. Uh, they beat the shit out of some uh, black dude. Um, and the thing is, there's and, and with with the with the black dudes and all that stuff, there's everybody. There's a lot of racial people in this world. Mm -hmm. Like there's fucking people that don't like white people. People don't like black people. There's a lot of racial mother racist motherfuckers in this world. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's really a target. Mm -hmm. You know, they find and, out something they like about you. You know, why is he always wearing blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they'll just Jackets pick or... you out and. The cops will pick you out. Oh, I don't like yeah. how this motherfucker drives. Let's pull him over every time he fucking leaves the house. Right. You know, that's... Or they see that nice car. Yeah, or they're, they're in me because they don't have fucking any money or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I mean, everybody has to get along. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Everybody fights against everybody. Mm -hmm. And we let the cops in our businesses. And the cops don't have it easy easy either. Yeah. They have uh, issues because they've got to be referee all the time. Yeah. You know, and, and people talk shit about him and stuff like that all the time. And then what's the first thing people do when they get in trouble? They have something going on. They want to call the cops. Yeah. Come help you. Come help me, you know. And it's so, so they're, they're, they've got a hard job. You know, I wouldn't want that job. Yeah. I don't know, man. I Could think, you ever be a cop? Fuck no. <laughs> I think everybody ought to just keep buying guns, keep buying bullets, because shit might be get real. You know, we might have to overthrow the government or something. <laughs> because they're getting stupid, you know. And... The people have to stand up to tyranny. It's in the Constitution. Right. You know, it's our right. If we're, if, if they're tyrants, we have a right to stand up to them. And seeing how the government's going, we might have to do that one day. What do you think about Zuckerberg and all these guys that are fucking... Dumb fucks, all of them. Yeah? Yeah. Just, yeah, like, nobody should censor anything. I don't think anything should be censored. And the government telling Twitter to censor this and that, you know... Yeah, you're taking away your free speech. You're taking away everything. Hey, if you don't like the way somebody talks. Change the channel. Fucking. You know how many people block have to block? Them. Yeah, you know how many people have to block because they yeah. can't fucking. They don't want to block me or they can't change the channel. They just talk shit about me. 
yeah. you know, or talk shit about you. And it's like, if you don't like James Garrettson, yeah, change the you. fucking channel. Block it. Block me. You don't like Coach, change the channel. Yeah. Don't fucking... Block you know, Yeah, people... And, man, I've had people like... I don't like but they you, won't. They got to hit the report button yep. so you lose your fucking and I've been, page. I've even people call me. They're like, I don't like that you posted this or I don't like that you said that. I'm like, well, then fucking don't look oh, at yeah, it. Yeah, you they, know, what? I when I scroll through the t- channels when I was a kid and I didn't like something, like I just fucking keep scrolling. I just if blast I, them. If there was a fucking something on the radio I didn't like, I changed the channel. But now yeah. people call the fucking... Oh, they report everything. Report anything everything. you say could fucking piss somebody off. Yeah. I mean... Or anything you don't say. Why don't you say this? Why yeah. don't you talk about this or that? And they're mad about something you didn't say. Yeah, I get people all the time. That fat motherfucker on a jet ski. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. You know, and, you know, I, I got a lot of hate when that Tiger King first came out a lot. So I learned through all this that your, your, oh, God damn. <laughs> your, uh, sorry. Your, um, your biggest fans <clears throat> are your haters because they're always going to watch you. Yeah. They're haters, but they're loyal. So they're gonna always watch you. So I went a few weeks ago and blocked, unblocked everybody that I blocked. Oh shit! That's a fucking because that sounds kind of brilliant. You're, yeah, you're you're blocking people that want that to follow will share you every your move. shit because they fucking hate you so bad. Yes. So that's a great. I might have to do that. Unblock everybody. Yeah. And fuck it. I went through and it took me fucking pages and pages <laughs> and pages of fucking unblocking these people. Were like calling me a rat and showing me emojis. So I went in there and then walked <laughs> like fucking 3,500 people on my Instagram. And then just boosted your shit. Fuck yeah. And then they're, you know, then they're going to start following you. Mm. But your haters are your biggest fans. Yeah. Because they don't hate you because they're watching you. I heard that about, I heard, I think I saw that on Howard Stern, a mo- the Howard Stern movie, which he fucking <clears> played <throat> in, which was, I think was fucking gangster. Yeah. He played in his own shit. Yeah. You know? And, uh, but anyways, I remember the, them talking about, they said 75% of your audience is people that hate. That what hate you, you. That hate you. Yeah, yeah. And and 75% of your audience are people that want to hear what you're going to yeah, say next yeah. because it infuriates Like, them. I get it all the time. Like, they'll post something like, fat motherfucker or whatever. I'm like, is this the only thing you can say about me is I'm fat? But is that the only thing you have? Can you not say, like, I'm a fucking idiot? No, you're just fat. Okay, well, I can lose my fat. You can't lose you being a fucking idiot. Right. You know, and... Yeah, so I just unblocked all the fucking haters, man. That's the best thing to do. Yeah. And because they're always going to support you no matter what. They're always going to share your shit. Haters, sometimes you can use them as fuel. You can. And if you want to stir some shit up or engage in them, and then you can even stir them up to even promote you even more because they're just going to go on there and share it with all their friends. Right. It's the ones that, yeah, it's the ones that are, that are indifferent and don't give a fuck is... How you don't, and I don't understand how you can well, lose friends of your political views. Like I'm real outspoken because I like Trump, but you let people believe what they want, and I don't care if you like Biden. I mean, you're fucking stupid if you like <laughs> Biden because obviously, look at Biden. I mean, he hasn't done anything since he's been in office mm-hmm. in fifty fucking years. What makes you think he's going to change the world now? Yeah, but I don't know, man. Like according according to the Bible, God did not want to, humans to have. Uh, 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 a king or a president because we're all dumb fucks. Yeah. So it's, you know, if anything, in my opinion, it should be a council. How about we the people vote? It should be, a, yeah, it should be a council. Maybe vote for fucking a council people, like 12 motherfuckers. If they're going to they pass the bill, why don't they vote? Send it out to 330 million fucking text messages, yay or nay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And the problem is solved, but you have people with special interest groups. And, you know, all these politicians are taking money from people. Mm. That's Why do you go in there making fucking $100,000 a month or $100,000 a year, and in fucking five years you're worth 50 to to $100 million? Because you're on the take, you know? And it's not about, they don't give a fuck about us. Joe Biden and their family set for life. Mm. So whatever we say or do, it's not going to affect their lifestyle. Trump set for life. So, you know, these people are just... They don't give a fuck about the small guys. Mm. They care about their rich friends getting richer. That's it. So, yeah, I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind if we didn't have a president at all. Let the people vote. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. There's man. enough technology where I mean, everybody's on goddamn social Facebook anyway. Put out a poll. You know, should we vote on this? Yes or no? But click. All right. 
voted for. People the, voted. But the problem with that is now there's so much fake news and so much like yeah. rigging shit. Yeah. That that now that's something. Man, there's so many scams. One of my a friend of mine just had his fucking Instagram hacked, and that, that person's still posting like he's him. Yeah, yeah. And fucking trying to scam other people, yeah. and it's it's crazy. He can't even get into his own yeah, account. Yeah. They'll, they they'll, blocked him out of his own yeah, account. They'll hack you. They'll set up dummy pages about you. Yeah. When that Tiger King first came out, I had people setting up pages on me, like asking people for money and stuff. Because they'll copy you, you know? I heard that they did that to David Goggins. Some guy was. Yeah, just like go to Dana White on Instagram. There'll probably be thousands of pages of Dana White. But. Right. You know? And they, and they did the same thing to Andrew Tate. They were, they've been using sound bites on him and little clips to mm. fucking make whatever agenda that they want. Oh, yeah. And make it look, I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't know him enough to know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. I have listened to some, I don't you know, either. some of his interviews. And some of the stuff he said, I mean, he sounds very intelligent. He's smart. You know, and 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 I know I've seen sound bites of him saying things, but I don't know if that's the whole, yeah. you know, if they're taking it out of context. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, and then uh, I know I know Greta's gotten really famous, but I don't know enough about her either. I don't know if she's done anything to help the environment or help the world or yeah. what the fuck she's doing. I don't know. No, I watch Andrew Tate. When he pops up, I watch his videos because, I mean, some of the shit's funny as fuck. Yeah. And how he's talking about women, and you know, he's a lot of it's fucking true. And you know, everybody has a fucking everybody has an opinion, right? And social media, you know, just lets everybody talk shit. But he's got a huge following. Imagine if he had his own YouTube channel, or imagine if he had his own website or whatever. He's the most famous Google person in the world. Wow! So he's that's crazy. But you know a lot of him, too. He's a multi-level platform marketing, too. Mm. So a lot of those little clips that he puts out mm. are his people working at his Hustler University. Mm. So he has a big... It's a big money thing to him, too. Mm. He gets a lot of traction. So, I mean, he could probably talk to people, you know... They're not gonna. They're they're gonna let him out pretty soon. They're gonna have to because people will go fucking. Bad. I know. I know. He's a he's a he was a chess master when he was like a little kid. Like he's very intelligent. Yeah, he's got ten year old kids. You know, asking everybody to free the top G. He's he's got the Bugatti and smokes mm. the cigars and he plays the part. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. It's unfortunate that you know uh, that they can. Basically, I can't convict make somebody. I don't know. They the basically convict somebody without even a, a trial, or without yeah. any evidence. It's so strange. How, how are they going to keep him in jail for sixty fucking days with no formal charges, and just like how? Yeah, I've heard rumors that there's that they're claiming that he did some type of sex trafficking. Well, he was doing cam girls, mm. but I mean, you got to think. You get one disgruntled girl that wants some money. All she has to do is make a claim. So Cam Girls, is that kind of like OnlyFans, basically? Yeah, kind of like OnlyFans, but he did it on a big level and made a whole lot of money. But they were, but it was all consensual. Yeah, it was all consensual, but you could talk somebody, you could talk a girl into making a complaint, or, I mean, he could have slept with a girl, she could claim rape. I mean, people, women do that all the time, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. If they're, if you break up with them and they're in love with you, whatever, they'll say anything, mm -hmm. you know, or to get even with you, so... He could have been framed. I mean, nobody knows. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's 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 crazy out there that that uh, that's still a thing. I mean, we're twenty twenty three, and you're and 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 you're still guilty until you prove your innocence, which is fucking ass backwards. You would think that they would say, no, you you're innocent, and then we're gonna prove that you're guilty. We'll fucking do it. Let's yeah. see. Let's see the evidence. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I wish the best for the guy. I don't want to see anybody in fucking jail, but, you know, he, he you know, he's he's got a lot of money, so he's a target. When you have a lot of money, you're a fucking target. Mm. You know, people want to take. People don't want to work. They want to, they don't, they get jealous when you're driving a fucking nice car, you know? Yeah. People have hatred to you for driving and he's, a nice And car. I think a lot of people are jealous because he, he has a lot of women. Yeah, I mean, you he's, know, he's yeah. got a lot of beautiful women on his arm, and that pisses well, a lot of people off. Money there. and nice cars brings beautiful women. I mean, you can be the ugliest motherfucker, have one eye, one leg, <laughs> and if you got you worth three, four hundred million, I mean, you get all the pussy in the world. Yeah, I mean, that's just how it is. Right. You know, women will overlook your imperfections for an easy life. Right. You know. So I mean, more power to them. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, what? Uh, so, what do you think? You think you're gonna be single forever? Man, well, I'm not ever single, but uh, <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah, no. You know, are, are you are you gonna get married? No, or? I'm not doing any of that dumb shit. No. Yeah, I don't believe in the courts having a paper and then I gotta ask for permission to get divorced if it doesn't work out. I work out. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, live the single life a little bit, you know, and I don't know, see what happens, but. Maybe have like a long time girlfriend or something. Yeah, maybe one could come along that's cool, that likes to do fun things, that doesn't want to bitch all day. <laughs> you know what would be the perfect woman? What's that? Blind and mute. <laughs> so you're gonna start. I mean, they're out there. Wouldn't that be the perfect? They're out there, man. You know, I don't you... speak sign language. So, you know, she can be bitching me out. Well, I but she's her. blind, though. So she doesn't even know sign language. I mean, she can't see. She, can, she won't even be able to see you signing to I her. just one that can't and talk. And you said me, she can't talk either. She can hear you, though. You said blind and mute. So she'd still be able to hear you, but she wouldn't be able to talk back or see you. That would be an ideal situation. So you might, you, well, if you do that, we'll follow up on another podcast in the future. <laughs> I want to hear all about it. Oh, the pros man. and cons. Yeah, I need you to. Know, see if where where can I find those type of women at? Wouldn't that be nice not having not being bitched at? Or where you at? What are you if, doing? If you're blind and you're a mute woman, contact James Garrison. Um, you can follow him on social as long media. as you're kind of pretty. I mean, kind of pretty. Have teeth. Teeth. <laughs> uh, what else? What else do you want to? We're, we're uh, set it up. Just no fucking drama. No drama. I mean, I don't think we'll ever get no drama. Do you care if she has kids or no kids or oh, has man. been married before or not or any any baggage? Or? Usually if they've already been married, they're already broken. What do you mean? I mean, you know, usually when a chick's already divorced, she, there's a reason, you know. There's, you think she's jaded at that point? Or, I mean, or? I think. I mean, married twice, no. Maybe once, yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right, so you got to be married once or less. Yeah, no uh, kid, no... No I mean, kids. You can have kids. Make sure they're grown and out of the fucking house. Grown kids. Um, <laughs> out of the house. And you can't be pretending... To, have a fucking job or a source of income. Yeah, have a job, source of income. And you can't pretend to be blind and mute because he, he'll fucking know if yeah. you're faking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he'll know yeah. if you can really see or, or not. Uh, yeah. You know, or be, like, you're supposed to not be able to talk. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to just a relationship with no fucking drama? It would be nice. I mean... Without somebody calling you like 50 times a day, what are you doing? Where are you at? I mean, it's like having a probation officer with some of these dating some of these people. Yeah, right? now Somebody's, social media. Like, I had one chick I dated a while back. She had a fucking tracking device on my phone. I didn't know. Jesus Christ. Tracking devices. You got uh, curfew. You can only hang out with certain people that are pre approved. Uh, no strip bars. No strip bars. I mean,. I don't, I don't want to, yeah. What do they think is happening at the strip club that they don't, that they don't agree with? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, strip bars are cool. Yeah. Strip bars are cool. So this more drama right there. Is you getting drama now? Yeah. Yeah, James is getting drama, so my, we're, we're calling it a night we did fucking almost I think we did fucking two hours oh hell yeah, yeah well, I, I, or three hours I think we we did a fucking long how many time. of you assholes are gonna say something stupid and report us yeah right that's true that that would fucking suck uh, I, I fucked up the video I, I think we did like 20 minutes or something like that and then I stopped it because I was adjusting this fucking phone and then uh, and then I you know but I'll, I'll spice it together uh, cool. And, and, and it'll, it'll look good. But well, all you guys have fun out there in uh, YouTube land. Yep. And we'll catch you next time. We'll catch you next time. Oos. <laughs> <laughs>